<laughs> Hamilton and I are recording. So this is game number. What is it? I know next week is our one year anniversary. Can you freaking believe it? It's going to be one year. So this is a game 56. And the reason why it's more than 52 is because we have had I've done some Saturday games and I think I did one Sunday game. So everybody's off right now, choosing their categories. We're missing several people this week. And we have at least one person who hasn't been playing for a very long time who will be here today. So this is game 56. And this is the June 3rd, 2021. And let's hope we can keep this going for a while longer. I know I'm enjoying it, and I think everybody else is. We have about, um, sorry, my cat is thinking that they want, he, Hamilton wants to, me to pet him because he sees my hand, so he wants to be pet, so he's not letting me type. Yeah, you tell him, you tell him, Hamilton, you tell him what this year has been like with me on the computer for hours on Thursdays. Tell him all about it, Hamilton. Tell him, <laughs> tell him, tell him what trivia has done for you. There's your little pause. <laughs> Stay there, sweetie pie. You know how much green jello I've eaten during this, this event? I have jello, green jello every, usually every, um, every time we play trivia. So we're doing again, this is going to be the, um, the team are the ones who are deciding the categories. And tonight it will be Carl, then Carl with a K, then Jeff Edwards, then Kevin Bacher, and then Mono Sigmund, and then bonus category is going to be Peggy. So this should be fun and exciting. I think I'm going to recall these people because I think they've been out too long now. So let's get them back here. They get in there, they start talking, you know, and so Carl's going to be first. So we almost hit the meeting. Hello. Is it telling you I'm recording? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. we have to hit consent. Yeah. Yeah. I got cat hair all over my computer. From you. Which you is that? Hey, Paula. It's Hamilton is with me right now. Of course, Isabella's not here, so so Hamilton's here. She was so disappointed meeting Hamilton. What? <laughs> Yeah, right. she was so disappointed. You got to see the picture. I don't All know if you right. saw the picture of her. I saw the picture. Why, why was she disappointed? She comes in and she sees him laying on my bed and she comes up to him and she she lays down to do a selfie with him. And then I took a selfie with them both and he just laid there. And she's like, <laughs> this is the most boring cat I've ever seen. How, what? Well, he I, got more active once you tried to take him outside with the party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got a lot more interesting, but yeah, he was he can jump really high. <laughs> but he was really dull. She thought he was going to be exciting. and Probably would have jumped up really high if you brought a little bird with him and let it loose in the room. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, looks like it. Hey, Avi, when are you getting your vaccine? Uh, Saturday. Right. Woohoo, is this your first Yay! one? Woo! Oh. That seems so strange. It's so long ago. Yeah, but the, his his second one isn't for another six months. What? Six months. Canada. Six months. What is months. it? Twelve weeks? I think it's twelve. Canada, weeks. Canada, eh? Yeah, something like that. I won't find Ooh. out when my next appointment will be until Saturday when I get my first shot. Is that, is that, that too far uh, apart for for doses? Yeah, just wait four weeks and yeah. cross the border okay. and walk into any CVS and you'll get a shot. Then. Right. Yeah, come down. You come down to uh, you Boston. You can do it longer, Rob. You don't want to do it sh sooner. If you, you don't want to do it too soon, you can do it longer and still get the same physical effect. But of course, they tested it as a certain yeah, I, time. I, I just recently read about that. Oh. Well, you want four oh, yeah. weeks. But for, of course, you don't have full immunity till you get 
till you get both of them, but right. uh, you'll you'll get the same immune response. So did they run did they run enough tests with enough differences in the time period between the shots to actually have a good idea about this? And how long can you go? I think they tested I think this was they don't have much in Canada, they really don't have any choice. They got to at least get as many people as they can the first dose. Because they just don't have the uh, vaccine. I, I know. I remember when this this was being I talked about think, in the United States, and, and Dr. Those. Fauci, uh, this was under Trump, said that's not a good idea. We haven't tested that. You right. know, spreading it out by three they, months or they, whatever. They have fairly recently concluded a test on a delayed second doses. By how long? How long? I don't recall. They, well, what were the results of the test? I'm curious. What the were the results? I think is based on um, uh, ana, uh, antibody production and the types of antibodies that are produced. Mm. Did you hear so about that woman who got like face. six COVID shots, something like that by accident? I don't know how that <gasps> happened, but I'm what? wondering what they just, what, what did they find out when somebody ends up getting like four to six shots? What, like on purpose because they wanted to be super immunized or no, what? No, no, no. I think it was an accident. And I have well, how does it happen by accident? How does that happen? It doesn't would, happen by no, accident. No, no, it could happen. If you're in a, let's say you're in a rest home or something and you just get shots because, oh. and somebody well, didn't realize no. they already gave them the okay. shot. No, what happened I mean, if, was, what happened was a nurse accidentally gave her six uh, an entire vial instead of uh, oh, that makes right. vial okay. up to okay. seven yeah. doses. One. Yeah. I mean, if I'm going to get superpowers, I'll go <laughs> sign up for wherever that nurse is, and you know, I'll get some yeah. extra shots. That's if you how accidentally yeah. give six, that's that's like you got to get a needle out, you know. <laughs> makes me wonder what the reaction was after. Uh, a oh, dose that's yeah. wondering. Well, what, I better what off to her. <laughs> I heard, I heard, if we're talking about vaccines, I want to thank you, Susan, because. When I was here a couple of weeks ago, you talked about the uh, shingles that, that you had, and I talked to my family, and we are all had our first shingles shot. Yeah. Did you have a reaction, Gail? <laughs> Did you have a reaction? Because I'm getting ready to make my appointment. Uh, I had. I was a little tired the next day, but other than that, no. Let me tell you, I've my still got red marks. Healthy. I've still got the red marks. I'm, I'm yeah. still not completely over it. It doesn't yeah. itch so much, hardly at all now, but man, that was miserable. I, 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 I had the single shot as well. Good. No, this I, is a double, it's a two it's shot. Singlex, right? What they, what they said was they yeah. used to be Shinglex. a single shot one and it didn't work very well. This yeah, was, yeah. Dale, this is Shinglex? Yeah. Yeah, and I had a, a similar yeah. reaction. I had like a slight oh, oh, kind of shingle. reaction. The both the both times so you have to do them like a few months apart yeah yeah, yeah. i did that yeah, yeah. yeah actually that, was, that yeah, was the worst i pain i've ever had in my arm for longer than any other shot including the covid shots really i think the the pneumonia shot was the i don't remember was the first was that one of them was my the sorest mm. but none of them were that bad though no all right here we go so let's see we've got uh five groups today who are going to try to be the best <laughs> in our trivia game this is week um i just had just pulled it up and i just forgot the number we're on week we're on game 56 so let's see oh. what we do for 56 so i want to get your team names from you so alan gail janine karen and carl what is your team name today we expect to be reinstated to first place by august <laughs> <laughs> i like it <laughs> oh, is that relevant is that um referring to something uh, oh yeah. yes <laughs> our former president <laughs> expects to be reinstated by august because they will we find out of course that he work. really won when mm. he said that yeah yes. oh, many he, he and many of his acolytes have been saying this for some time it's it's their latest second I, coming I know his story acolyte had. i know his acolytes have but i thought he just checked out or something no no he, he said it oh, no. No. no 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 he's, he's into it too yeah, it's like Roger the second the coming. They press, just keep still, pushing they're back. They're still gathering. Like Roger Stone and Mike Flynn had something in Florida, and a huge fundy, uh, one of the leaders of a fundamentalist church actually died in a plane crash on their way down. Why don't we ask a psychic? He's about yeah. to be a speaker at the North Carolina convention. So, so when Trump, when is he coming to my state? <laughs> <laughs> the Republican convention is next month sometime. Uh, all right. Avi, 
Avi, he gave up his failing blog after 29 days, but he is still persisting in other regards. So I today I posted on my Facebook page that uh, Tony Ortega's blog follows QAnon stuff as well. It's called The Lowdown. And whenever the uh, QAnon people found out that it was 29 days that his blog lasted, Apparently Q had a while back said something about at 30, it's done or something like that. So they think that because it was 29 days for the blog that today, that would be today, would be the day that Trump would be coming back. So <laughs> he's just like really desperate to not go to jail or have to go. Yeah, to by jail. August, I think something he'll be indicted. So yeah, he, he just wants to have immunity. Well, they had that grand jury recently. Yeah. So mm -hmm. next up, we have Avi, Ben, Caspian, James, and Jeffrey. Who are you guys tonight? Tonight, we are the elementary quantum of corn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is this corn. have something corn. to do with corn? my barbecue that we had an enormous <laughs> amount of corn left over? <laughs> No. Trying to start a rumor that the guy who did the Borat movie is Q. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to run with that one. to do with the party. I'm, I'm, I, I like it. Yeah, that's a good I one like to run with. Okay. Verified. Start a dis Verified. Uh, I'm sure <laughs> Borat, Borat started that rumor. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> All right. Sounds Kevin. Like a, go ahead. Go ahead, Abby. I was going to say, it sounds like a good disinformation campaign. Go with it. Uh, yeah, Kevin, Bob, Mike, Rob, who are you? The headless birds from Gail's yard. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back to haunt her. Uh, oh, I can't wait to read these headlines, uh, these team names years from now, which is why I'm recording because I need to remember these things. <laughs> I will play these over and over and over and over. Wait, I'm losing my memory. All right, and number four, we have Abby, we have Deborah, Kelly, Mono, and Robin. Mafia cats. Huh? Mafia cats. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to beat team Same three. Team. We're definitely going to beat <laughs> those headless birds. We're yep. whipping your asses. And Mono wants you to know we, we're going to leave their heads in the beds of the our Headless animals. birds don't oh. forget. Oh, wait, yes, they do. <laughs> we still have so that. This is Good so one, Rob. <laughs> so they're gone with my I'm just so, not getting connection out. The... Okay, well, just be here. So next we have Jane, Kyle, Paula, Peggy, Faith, and Romero. Who are you tonight? We are chicken shit bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of bird related stuff tonight. I don't know why. I guess whoever is first with the story that's going on in their lives is going to uh, influence the rest of the the teams you just can't beat decapitated birds we are not <laughs> a good oh, story. maybe you can <laughs> okay the other so team here we could go. be the, the bodiless heads of the birds <laughs> so i have a couple people. i just i just didn't hear oh and their heads were removed with the precision of a laser that was like from the 28th yeah. century <laughs> nothing else could have done it except extraterrestrials from the future I thought maybe the I, children of the corn are attacking the birds it was done yeah, with the i've precision got a, of a jewish crop space circle. laser here peggy gave me a jewish space laser oh very good <laughs> so i got I got him. Just letting you know. I'm, I'm hey, is that the control like for the space laser? I'm confused. It works. Hmm? You should have put it on the cats. I was going to say, do, do the cats run after it? I mean, that's what well, they're for. Well, two haven't even noticed it at all. And one was like, what the hell's that? And that's about <laughs> as far as we've gotten. All right. So we've got we've got two people, I think, who just entered the room. So I'm going to be putting them on teams. We're going to do teams in just a minute. Carl, you're first up, right? So yep. let me make you a co-host. You know what that means. All right, so we have, here's the teams tonight. Tonight, June 3rd, 2021. These are the teams competing against each other. Let's see who will be the superior trivia team in our trivia, social trivia game 56. All right, so we have, we expect to re, be reinstated the first, <sighs> we expect to be reinstated to first place by August. Who will be playing against the elementary quantum of corn? <laughs> who will be playing against the headless birds from Gill's yard? Who will be playing against mafia cats? Wow! Who will be playing against chicken shit bingo? <laughs> May the best team win. That's us. <laughs> yes. 
It doesn't matter. We'll be reinstated anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but not till August. Oh, count okay. yeah, count I know. all the votes. Uh, we get to see Carl Stop head on count. today. Look at Carl. We can see him face to face instead of in profile. That's the only time we can see him is whenever he has the uh, the site. He does a category. All right. So Carl, it is all yours. Kelly, can you mute us as uh, after we have a groan? We, uh, we've got a groan. Categories. Yep. And remember, you can mute okay. yourself only if it's funny or you have a really good question. So my category is military mishaps, fact or fiction. Ooh. All right. right. You, you may or may not know anything about any of these. You may have heard of them. You may not have, but it, it'll be fun discussing anyway. So I'm going to read 10 military mishaps, and you get to decide whether they're fact or fiction. Are these going to be typed in the chat or something? Yes. Yes. OK. And in consideration of good taste, I didn't use anything that resulted in any deaths or serious injuries because kind of bad taste to make fun of that stuff so there. all right muting everybody in three two one all right these are all kind of long so if you don't have access to the chat later on it might be a little difficult for you number one is the cornfield bomber in 1970 during a training exercise the pilot of an f-106 fighter lost control of his airplane and it entered a flat spin after failing numerous attempts to recover from the spin, the pilot ejected. The reduction in weight and change in center of gravity caused by the ejection of the pilot, coupled with the blast force of his seat rocketing out of the plane, pushed the nose of the aircraft down, caused the aircraft to recover from the spin. The plane, which had been trimmed by the pilot for takeoff and set at idle, descended and skidded to a halt with relatively light damage in a farmer's field where thrust from the still idling jet caused it to slowly drift on its belly along the field until running out of fuel. The Air Force recovered the plane and returned it to the base where it was repaired and returned to service. The plane now sits in the National Museum of the United States Air Force. Fact or fiction? I just have to congratulate you because everyone always says mine are the longest questions, so you just took the lead. Yeah. All right. He set the record now. Well, most of them are about that long. Number two. The Battle of Palmdale. In 1956, operators lost control of a target drone while directing it to a missile test range. The Air Force scrambled two interceptors to shoot it down. When, it, when the interceptor pilots first tried to fire their air-to-air -air rockets at the drone, the rockets failed to launch due to a design flaw in the fire control system. Pilots were forced to switch to manual mode to fire the rockets, but the gun sights had been removed when the new fire control system was installed. And all the two interceptors fired over 200 air-to-air -air rockets without a single hit. The rockets started many fires in and around the towns where the battle took place over, including numerous brush fires that took firefighters two days to bring under control. Fact or fiction? Number three, Dateline F-22. In 2007, while fly flying from Hawaii to Japan, Six F-22 fighters experienced a software issue affecting their aircraft's navigation systems. Unable to navigate, the pilot, pilots had to follow a tanker aircraft to fly back to Hawaii. To this day, the Air Force has refused to confirm if the issue was a result of the fighters crossing the international date line or even where the issue occurred. Fact or fiction? A question when these um for fact or fiction are you going to say how much of it has to be fact versus um so, like i, I, I did not do any yeah. i didn't i didn't make any stories that are mostly true and include caveats it's no, either no, no no so i think abby's yeah. going like it was five f-22s or they were you know yeah. so, or, or there were right. or there were six f you know a different no. plane there, there are no details to worry about. The, okay. the stories are either fact okay. or fiction. Okay. I didn't take a factual story and change teeny tiny facts here or there. Okay. Okay. Number four, F-22 can opener. In 2006, a pilot was inside his F-22 pilot fighter plane when the canopy failed to open. For five hours on the runway, maintenance personnel tried to no avail to open the canopy. 
Finally, the fire department had to cut open the canopy to extricate the pilot. Published reports indicate that two screws, which had loosened and come unscrewed, were to blame. Fact or fiction? So the text does not say two screws. Screw, well, again, that's details. Number five, premature ejection. In 2020, a group of defense workers arranged for a ride in a two-seat fighter plane for one of their coworkers. At the start of the flight, the pilot took off and climbed at an angle, generating a load factor of around positive four Gs. Then, as he leveled off, he subjected his passenger to a negative load factor of about negative 0.6 Gs. The passenger, who had insufficiently tightened his own safety harness, began to levitate off his seat. In panic, he grabbed the handles and the seat be between his legs to pull himself down, which just happened to be the ejection handle. He was ejected from the plane and landed via parachute with only minor injuries. Luckily, a malfunction in the auto eject system prevented the pilot from being automatically also ejected from the jet, and he was able to land his new convertible jet fighter with the top down safely. Number six, holy bat bombs. During World War II, the United States experimented with a bomb that would release over 200 bats carrying small incendiary bombs attached. The idea was that bats would then disperse and roost in eaves and attics in a 20 to 40 mile radius. The incendiaries were set on timers and would ignite and start fires in inaccessible places in the largely wood and paper constructions of the Japanese cities. The program experienced numerous problems in testing. On one test, the bats, not fully recovered from hibernation, could not fly when released. We'll call this the WKRP test. <laughs> After obtaining replacement bats, 6,000 bats later, another test resulted in a barracks, a control tower, and other buildings at the base being set aflame by the bats. After 30 demonstrations and $2 million spent, the project was canceled. Fact or fiction? Number seven, misplaced nukes. In 2007, the U.S. Air Force lost track of six 150 kiloton thermonuclear warheads that had been mistakenly left installed in six stealth cruise missiles that were being transported from Minot, North Dakota to Barksdale, Louisiana via B-52 to be disposed of. For 36 hours, the Air Force was unaware that the warheads were installed in the missiles and not instead in the storage bunker. The missiles with live warheads sat installed in the B-52s overnight before takeoff and for over 10 hours after landing without special guards or any of the various mandatory security precautions for nuclear warheads, weapons, before someone noticed something unusual about them and it was subsequently determined that the live nuclear warheads were still in the cruise missiles. Fact or fiction. Number eight, accidental British invasion of Spain in 2002. In 2002, two dozen British Marines on a training exercise stormed a beach they mistakenly thought to be in Gibraltar. In reality, they had landed on a beach resort in La Linea, Spain instead. The Marines only realized their mistake after the locals and two policemen informed them that they were in the wrong place. Number nine, Sergeant York or Sergeant Bilko? In 1982, during demonstration testing of the M247 Sergeant York self-propelled anti-aircraft gun, when the computer was activated, it started aiming the guns at the review stands, causing several minor injuries as members of the group observing jumped for cover. We'll call this the ED-209 test. In spite of several attempts to get it working properly, the vehicle never successfully engaged the sample targets. A manager for the vehicle's maker claimed that the problems were due to a vehicle being washed for demonstration and following the electronics. In a report on the test, a writer jokingly wondered if it ever rained in Central Europe, the intended theater of the vehicle's uh, operation. In another test, Sergeant York was reported to have locked onto a latrine fan, mistaking it for a moving target of low priority like a helicopter. And finally, number 10, the strange love inspiration. In 1951, during a practice bomb run over U.S. Air Force test range, an inert practice bomb failed to release from the bomb bay of a B-36 peacemaker. 
An airman went to the bomb bay to assess the situation. Neglecting to tether himself to the bulkhead while in the bomb bay with the bomb bay doors open, he kicked the practice bomb several times and lost balance when the bomb dislodged on his third kick and fell out of the bomber with the bomb. After regaining his composure, he pulled a ripcord of his parachute and landed safely in the test range where he had to wait two hours for a rescue helicopter. This incident was the inspiration for the scene of the 1964 film, Dr. Strangelove, where Slim Pickens straddles a nuclear bomb as it falls from a B-52. Fact or fiction? This is hilarious. Yeah. This is why I want to record. Nobody will <laughs> believe this. Hmm. So several of these questions involve the F-22 Raptor and I actually have design experience with that fighter jet. And unfortunately it helps me not at all with these questions. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know that was coming? Oh okay. yeah, you're a lucky guy. Uh, all right, really good. I, 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 Carl, if you made some of these up, you are talented. These are really got some good background to them. I, 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 uh, Salute you for these fake ones, if they're fake ones in here. They might all be fake. They I'm might sure. all be fake and they might all be real. I'm sure at least one is fake. Oh my goodness. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm putting you in a room. So those people who haven't been assigned, I know Wilma just came in. Hello, Wilma. And somebody else just came in. Who was it I just saw that hasn't been assigned? I'll, I'll assign you to your teams right now. So go. I will be in a minute to with the team, we expect to be reinstated. So have fun. Oh yeah, James is the one that came in that I got to read yeah. sign. So James, you are? Children of the corn. Children of the corn. Children of the corn. Hi, Wilma. Sorry, I was still muted. Hi, how are you? Sorry, I'm late. No, that's okay. Children of the corn. Oh, elementary quantum. Okay, there yes. you go. So Wilma, let's put you over here with the group that is going to have not a lot. Uh, oh, I think you'll like you'll like this. You'll okay, here you go. Have fun. Okay, thank you. Susan's, 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 will be here. Susan's here. Susan's here. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I, see, because the only reason I'm thinking the last one because it's a, it, it's a little detail. But when the guy went down to check the bomb, he wouldn't be wearing a uh, he wouldn't be wearing a um, uh, a parachute because he wouldn't be anticipating jumping out of the plane. So I, I'm kind of thinking that's that's only one that I can think of that that sounds like it, it's it's bogus. And it's awfully well, cat because immediately well, I started thinking of Dr. Strangelove. And then when it came up, I said, yeah, that's a good one to make up, right? Well, my, my, um, I know nothing about any of this stuff. So my way of choosing. I'll be right back. I got to go check on something. No, no, we, we, we need to, we need you. No, I'll be right back. It's just one of the people have got, uh, is in the wrong room. Right. Yeah. Um, number six, I go for a fact. Wait, 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 wait! Stop talking, Faith. You just said yeah. you were you were in the wrong room. No, no, no. Oh, I got started message. here. But you were in the Mafia Cats. No, I said I wanted no, to. She came up with her name from Mafia Cat Facts because they were sharing Mafia things. Oh, okay. All right, right, I'm out of the room. I just thought okay, you were in the wrong room accidentally. Get out of here. It, yeah. of assessing my idea of assessing fact or fiction is so random i could be way off i'd rather hear your logic and then maybe add that observation i want to make a comment about your logic because that's a really good thing to have done the question is whether your conclusion follows he right. was delighted was he delighted because I'm going to fool you with this one because it sounds stupid and it's true. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, I don't know what you guys have discussed already, but I'm pretty sure six and seven are real. 
Six okay. and seven. What is six? I think seven? I've heard of six and seven. I'm almost positive I've heard of seven. And I know six, they did all kinds of stuff like that where they tried to get birds and 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 things figured yes, out. So uh, yeah, I think yeah. up. So I'm pretty sure but six I, and seven. You know, are I know that too because well, Japan sent stuff into Oregon during yeah, they, they were floating were things over, trying way. to float them over to, to but but I put six down as false. Uh, because of the story. I know they've done that kind of stuff, but that one didn't let, why was it to, uh, uh, so bats carrying incendiary bombs, uh, which that's fine, but uh, are they really that naive about the, the, um, Okay, I'll and start you. fires in Japan. Uh, I don't think the Japanese, I don't think we did that for Japanese. And I'm a well, little they skeptical. Didn't go. I'm, skeptical. I'm skeptical of this one because among the things I always taught when we taught, when I taught psychology about Skinner is B.F. Skinner did some actual research that he presented to the military where he trained pigeons to peck and the idea was that they were going to guide the missiles because, of course, they didn't have the computers to do that because they would peck so successfully at a spot. And then they put the pigeon and the pigeon would guide the missile. And notice that that was one of the things. They didn't do it, by the way, because they were afraid of it because the Russians did one where they used another version of psychology and actually had a, had a failure. And if this was being done with bats and they really were doing it, you target it. Every one of the ones they did with the animals, they were training the animal to some specific thing, to yeah. go to a particular kind of tank to blow it up with the dogs in Russia. And they wouldn't have chosen bats. And they, they wouldn't would not have, chosen have chosen It's bats. too random. They don't know where the bats are going to yeah. go. Yeah. They, so, okay. It's I'm kind of like something you take bats. something that's happened and you twist it into something that isn't yeah. real. I also yeah. think five is fake. Hmm? No, Susan, you're you know you're you're right that things like. Like they did try all, all things similar things, but yeah, I think the logic with the bats is what makes yeah. Makes sense. I think that's the point. I think he'd make up a story about the bats that sounds right. like the ones that were really done. Okay. The, right. uh, and the nukes, the nukes that I know that kind of stuff has happened. Yeah, yeah. I I had seven as I thought yeah. seven would be true. So five, I think, is fake because I, the only thing I thought that the pilot. Too. The pilot from leaving was a malfunction, and that's just too random. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that's my thought. Like, I'm just a guest here. Okay. I'm guys, also, I, had, I'm I had made the no, same. Oh, you're part of the team. For this round, you're part of the team. <laughs> yep. Well, you guys I, already I, do. The rest of us. And besides, Susan will be reinstated in August. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> For all it's worth, and again, I'm going with my amateur observation skills i put fiction for number five okay did so, you guys already do one through four no we're, no we're doing them pretty randomly yeah we're random um i don't buy the cornfield one number please one Two. one one number one really why i thought that was true i put fact yeah i did but again too. You know, I'm not basing it on logic. I'm basing it on a watching Carl. Oh, <laughs> reduction and weight. And I, I had no reason at that point, but I did kind of go with it. All right. I put, long, it true, I put it as true just because it sounded like the kind of stupid thing that people would do. <laughs> not a very good reason, but. I mean, it's very low key, right. right? I, you know, right. he did a lot of good writing on it. If if it's false, he's he's a good, <laughs> got a good imagination. Um, I don't have a clue, don't, and right, I don't know if it's right, but it sounded good. What about two? Okay, did they have drone? A target drone while directing a missile test. Lost control of a target drone. I don't even know what. In 1956. Yeah, do they have target drones in 56? Yeah, that was look at his eyes, you guys. Take a look at his eyes. 
He's got squirrely what eyes. Did you, what did you write for his eyes, Karen? Can, do you do that really, or is that a Zoom thing? <laughs> uh, they may, they may have had, they may have had not the drones that we think of now, but right. like you know, just just a yeah. pilotless, uh, uh, sent up a pilotless plane, you know. In that case, it makes sense that they could have lost control of it, right? Mm -hmm. If that's what it was, I mean, a drone now, I don't think that would have happened. They don't lose control; they miss the target, but they don't lose control. Wow, um, I don't know. So since we don't know, one of the things is going to be, how will we decide? Because we've only named three so far. I think we should arm wrestle. <laughs> I think that we're gonna get at least 50%. What do you think? <laughs> the odds are with us with that. <laughs> but we will be reinstated in August. That's right, yeah. So, so. How are we going to decide to? Well, okay. what, do, what do most of us think? We're an uneven number of people. Does anybody have a good argument? So everybody vote. Well, does anybody have a really good argument one way or the other? The only argument I have is that if what Alan said is correct, it makes sense. That we did have drones, but they were not great. But that they were not. If, we, if we're talking about a drone in the modern sense, First of all, I didn't think they had them in 56. And secondly, we, we would not, that would not have happened now. Because I think they had, they had drones during the second world war. I think they used drones. Is that right? So yeah, so I, drones did exist, you know. Okay. I mean, okay a with, simply a pilotless, uh, pilotless uh, plane. I'm okay with two being correct. It just the best, the best, so... the, the best thing about these questions is they're, they're perfect for talking your set, thinking, overthinking everything and yeah. getting the answer and saying, no, it can't be, we'll go the other way. So, you know, it's, it's a, it's a crapshoot. All right. So that's a, that's a true. We're going to say, all true. right. So what about three? I, I, I was really interested. I had that one as true. And how would, the only thing I can think of the international day line would change the date. Why, why else would that work? I know I couldn't figure out why that would ha why that could be true. Anything could have happened. I just I she just did Everest refused to confirm. Well, what maybe, software issue? What was their operating system? This was, was 2007. Was so. it were they uh, were they on a Windows or a uh, Windows operating system or a? Uh, yeah, okay. I why would the international date line affect a plane now? Do they haven't allowed for that in 2007? Because that's that, the, they're claiming that that's was the, the mishap. I, I, it might not have been. It might not have been that. You know, they're not saying, but the fact that it just sounds like yeah, they had a software issue and couldn't navigate and had to follow a tanker aircraft to fly back to Hawaii. Besides, I don't, I don't know. And all and all and all six of them or however many uh, had the thing. Nah. I don't. Uh, think. I, I I had that one as a question mark right from the beginning. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, I, that's fine. I'm I, I'm okay with I, not believing it. I put fiction. Yeah. Did you? Okay. I put two. Okay, hey, number four. This is the guy. The are we, are we voting? I I want to make sure we're not just going with whoever spoke last. Okay, let's vote. Or the most emphatically. Which one? Right. Which, Which one, one are we doing? Three. 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 Do we have agreement on three? Yes. I say fiction. I say fiction. fiction. I say okay. fiction. Okay. okay. And I don't even know what a canopy is, so I don't know how that works. This is the next one. I'm fine with four. I don't. I don't. I don't know what it means because I don't know what to open a canopy to. I think it's the, the, oh, the canopy is just the uh, the glass, you know, the the the, oh. the bubble above the thing that usually normally just simply just simply opens, you know, like a, like a like enough convertible. Got it. Boy, this is really makes sense. sense. Finally, the firefight. I mean, he's in his. I boy, he had to really reach for a reach for a mishap, unless he made that up. Uh, maybe it was just a reenactment of, of what happened at my house 
trying to get into my house when my husband was in the hospital and the doorknob wouldn't oh, wouldn't work. I, I I don't I can't imagine it would have taken them five hours to get that thing. You know over. what? I think it's false because this is published reports indicate. Because why would there be any kind of report, especially a published report like the? I mean, what kind of slow no, news day do you have? That yeah, and if it was published, that's 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 the first argument I've heard that convinces me that it might be false. Yeah, just I believe like, people are that stupid, and that a single thing like that can do that. Remember oh yeah, the, for sure. Remember the the um and screws. I don't know, do they screws? Well, well, things are things are things are. I think it happened, but that's that's me. I put fact, but again. Uh -oh. I'm just going by my theory of watching Carl's face. What was all right, if we're, all right. If, so if we're going to vote, I'm voting as vic as fiction. So my one vote is a fiction. I'm a fiction. Okay, mine's true. Karen's is true. Okay, Gail. There you go, Gail. So it's up to Gail. I don't want to be the tiebreaker here because I keep getting convinced. I'm convinced by, by Susan and <laughs> Let me right. right. tell you why yeah. I had to get the neighbor and I to get glass cutters to cut a window open in my house. Because That's fine. The did it take, did, it, did, it, did it take you five okay. hours? I'll buy it. Uh, it Especially on a military base. Okay. Yeah, okay. Because they were trying not you to voted, destroy that plane. I voted true. true. She voted true. Okay. okay. And number set number five. So so far we have fact, fiction, fiction, fiction. What was two? Fiction. Was, no, I had it as fact. Okay, great. So so far we have fact, fact, fiction, fact. Number five, fiction. Do we agree on that? Someone else, please be yeah. writing. Yeah, I think so because that doesn't make sense that the pilot wouldn't would just by accident his thing malfunctioned. So we're halfway there. So number six, folks. That was the right we, one. That's that one. That we that decided we said fiction. With fiction. 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 Great. Okay. Seven. We decided was true. I I kind of remember this, don't you guys? Well, I, I, I know Something things like that have happened. I don't know if I remember yeah. this specific thing. Exactly. But. I know that, that that has happened. Okay. Uh, number number eight. eight is so silly that it must have happened. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, so they, were trying, to, they well, were trying to invade uh, a beach in Gibraltar and they ended in Spain. Yeah. Sounds okay. like the mouse that, the mouse that roared. <laughs> oh, I just read that recently. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is like the funniest book. I loved it. Is it a children's book? No. no. It's also no. a movie. It's a it's great movie. It's just hilarious. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, the movie, the movie was great. Oh, I haven't seen the movie, but it's I just recently movie. read you like the, the book. book. Go watch it's uh, Peter, uh, Peter Sellers. No, he plays a couple of characters in that. Oh, thing. well, then it's got to oh, be great. Then it's got to be good. Maybe we should do some movies through one of these days. Okay. So are you saying, is there high agreement that it's fact? Yeah. yeah. Or eight. Okay. Fact. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Okay. Number nine. I believe that one, but I'm not sure I have a good reason for saying that. That just sounds like, uh, that just sounds like too many, too many uh, military com comedy movies that, I, you know. Oh, Okay. <laughs> And it's 82. I wouldn't remember any of this. Um, Let me yeah, tell you, the big. reason I'm believing that is probably because one of my old bosses, vice president of the college, was typing one day. And he's doing this with two fingers. And he had an accident as a child where one of when his little finger was blown off, so it was missing. And he's doing this with two fingers. And I said, Bill, you need somebody to type for you. And he said, no, I want you to know I was in the military. I was a clerk typist. And they said, really? He said, yeah, you have to type 55 words a minute. And I took the test and I didn't quite make 55 words a minute, but I did it with nine fingers. So they gave me the ability to have nine tenths. So therefore he passed. 
You guys all done? And, and that's a true story. Yeah, we have two more, sure. Carl. Well, we have, yeah, I guess we have two more. How's everybody else nine. doing, Carl? Everybody's, everybody's sure. about done or down to their last one, just debating. Okay. Carl and Gail? Is, Carl. So I'm saying that this makes sense to me, right? Therefore, you would say fact. I would say fact on that one. It's just, I, 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 I mean, I, knowing that story, that kind of thing happens. Shall we vote or do we have agreement uh, that it is fact? What sure. was your, what was your, mine was fiction, my, but again, not based on logic. I'm okay to move it to fact. Okay, fact. Um, you'll have to tell uh, Carl when we're all done how you came up with well, your. Uh... I'm curious. I'll be curious to see how accurate I was. Okay, fact. And number 10. I, I wish think... I could listen to all the room's entire debates over right. every question. But you know what? I We're know. recording, at least in this was, room, Carl, you can record. I'm recording. Oh, yeah. It. So you can I, hear this. This, this, can this, this, room this is a good category. You Carl. should probably right. have gone to the other rooms so that you could listen because you know you can come back and listen to this anytime. Well, but he wants to be here at the end. Yeah, exactly. That's I came more. back here because they're mostly done or down to their last question. We have one uh, more. Ten, 10, I think, is false. Yeah, I, I think you've got a valid point. I put fiction. I that did is too. too, Pat. Okay, shall oh, we just go with... Does anyone feel strongly that it's not fiction? I don't feel strongly about most of these. Any of them? <laughs> 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 Please recap. I'm, I'm okay to go either way. Okay, can someone recap if, if I'm supposed to be the counter? I want to make sure I have it accurately. Or do you want me to say what I have here? Yeah, well, I'm going to say what you have and we'll make sure we agree with you. Okay, I have, written, Let me see I have written down one, fact, two, fact, three, fiction, four, fact, five, fiction, six, fiction, seven, yeah, you wrote true, right now. true, okay, so fact. fact, eight, fact, nine, fiction, no, no, nine, fact, fact. ten, fiction. Yes, that's, that's how many how does that give us? Say again. How many of each does that give us? That gives us one. Facts are one, two, three, four, five. It gives us five of each. Well, that's with the odds, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to close the rooms then. Oh, Lord. Okay. That was, that was good, Carl, but kind of crazy. I love And my guesses, my guesses. Wrong. My guesses differed with you on two two of them differed. Which two? And I tried not to be persuasive based on just what I was looking at. Which two did we <laughs> differ? Which two did you differ with us on? Um, two and seven. Okay, we're gonna see if you're how, yeah. how good your your psychological she reading you, Carl. Reading you. She's reading you whenever you were reading them. No, I was just watching you. I had no <laughs> idea. So I thought, well, I'll watch Carl and see if I can. Oh, kitty, kitty. This cat will tell us the truth. <laughs> oh, look, Janine's got a kitty. Oh, look at kitty. Oh, look at kitty. Well, I'm a bad. Okay, well, hopefully we'll have you in the lead, uh, Carl. Good okay. luck. It's see you okay. Guys. We'll hey, be reinstated. A little bracket that was a curved part for a helicopter landing or something like that. Mm. It was a little tiny piece. Now we're, now we're being recorded, so I can't say anymore. Yeah, so I wanted to point out to the person who's doing the, the, the questions, if you enjoy listening to the conversations that are happening in the rooms, then you should spend little time in the room I'm in because you will be able to listen to the video of my, because when I go into a room, it records that room. So if you want to spend more time in other rooms and knowing that at least you can watch it later, yeah. you will be able to hear the whole thing later if you want to listen to it. I thought Carl was talking about how much he enjoyed listening to our conversations mm. in all the rooms. And You're like a targeted individual. Wherever you go, someone's recording <laughs> you. I don't know how that works. That's crazy. Okay. Very good. Got some great conversations in there, y'all. I, 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 I don't know. I, I'm not confident about any of these. I hope you guys all did well. I don't know. Susan just came in our room to try and steal one of our members. No, no, I got this. I saw this weird <laughs> message in chat and I thought she was in, her, in the wrong room. So I just came in just briefly to say hello. So <laughs> I didn't listen to anything I told you guys as soon as I entered. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> guarantee she came back with no answers. <laughs> <laughs> it was 
so worthless. Well, I had answers. They're either true or false, but it doesn't mean it's right. Okay, so Carl. All right. So it was real interesting listening to your discussions. It never occurred to some of you that I might have put some varying levels of details in things just to throw you off of maybe, well, if I have too much detail, maybe they think I made it up, or maybe if I have little detail, they think I made it up. Number one, the cornfield bomber. That's fact, it happened. I knew it. Number two, the Battle of Palmdale. Heard some interesting discussion here. Apparently people didn't realize necessarily that we had full-size target drones way back then and that air-to-air, -air, unguided air-to-air -air rockets were relatively small and planes carried a lot of them because they were unguided. Battle of Palmdale's real and it happened. Hmm. Dateline F-22. It's real. It happened. Oh, no. They're all now, real. Oh, shit. They're all real. Yeah. It, no, nowhere in there did I say it was definitely a result of crossing the international date line. Although, <laughs> oft times in that type of incident, the Air Force will at least confirm the location at which it happened. And it's awful suspicious that the Air Force refused to confirm where it happened. And many aviation experts do believe it's because of crossing the international date line. Yeah, this is not their navigation systems because I guess they didn't use UTC time. For yeah, time. that's right. This is not suspicious at all. All the weapon systems are heavily reliant on UTC time and getting it exactly right. And it's certainly possible that they goofed when uh, coming to do with the national uh, date line. And of course, if they did, they wouldn't want to say anything about it. <laughs> so the F-22 can opener, that happened also. They're all facts. I thought all maybe the light detail on that one might fool some people into thinking that I made I thought that it was one wrong up, with my team. Even though it was fairly plausible. Premature ejection. It happened. Oh, it no. A French, a French <laughs> Air Force Rafale aircraft. And the after report cited numerous failings, including the not properly briefing the passenger, not properly checking that the passenger straps were secured and trusting that he strapped himself in fine. And he did eject himself accidentally. And in that particular plane, it was designed that if one seat ejects, both seats would automatically eject on the assumption that if somebody has to eject, one of the other pilots might be unconscious and should be automatically ejected. But that system failed, and the pilot was able to land the plane. It's ridiculous. Was that you, Kyle? The pilot? He doesn't fly. No, no. Were you the guy ejected? Holy bat bombs? No, that was in That's France. Real. I think a lot of people have heard of that, or some people have heard of that. I tried, but nobody believed me. They said bats would have been stupid. <laughs> yeah. they were. we did they a were lot there. of ridiculous things well, the, the, yeah. we're stupid to do but i mean in addition to all the complications the program was also canceled because they realized that nuclear bombs could produce flaming japanese cities a lot more effectively than bats could okay misplaced nukes yep that happened the air force lost track of 36 nuclear warheads uh, there's six nuclear warheads for 36 hours. And the eight didn't happen. Uh, numerous senior ranking officers lost their jobs over that. Mm -hmm. And you get pissed when you lose your keys. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Accidental British invasion of Spain, 2002. Yep, that happened. Mm -hmm. Sergeant York or Sergeant Bilko. Yeah, that happened. Number 10, Strange Love Inspiration. That's the one I made up. What? Oh, <laughs> I got one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Damn. <laughs> I didn't think that was right. Very good. <sighs> Keeping in mind that your yeah. team probably got screwed. And if anybody wants it, I uploaded a Word file into the chat with the copy of this in it. 
Fantastic. <laughs> well done. Thank, Thank you, Carl. Those were so fun. About it. Uh, that was fun. That was. So the scoring works how? That you like one point for each one that you got right or what? Yep. Yeah. yeah. If you got it right, you get a point. If you didn't get it right, you don't get a point. You okay. Point. So let's yeah. go through our scores, which should be pretty easy to do. So let's go down our list. Chicken shit bingo. How many points? Nine. Whoa. What? I should have trusted my instinct on number 10. Yeah. <laughs> or mine. Mafia cats. How many? Five. <laughs> I can no, I have I, I have I have six. You? I have, no, no, I take it back. Five. You're right. You're right. If I just okay. by, by myself, we would have had nine. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the headless birds from Gail's yard. I believe seven. We, I know our team talked ourselves out of a lot of them. We were looking for anomalies, 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 <laughs> problems. I have to use that in a team anomalies. next week. We had problems with our, with, with things. And we said, no, because of that. The elementary Anom anomalous quantum. problems in Washington. <laughs> The elementary quantum of corn, how many? Luckily, we thought most of these were true, so we got an eight. Okay, so the team I was on and Carl's team, we expect to be reinstated by to first place by August. Seven. Seven. Oh, we did better than I thought. All right. Yeah, that's all right. Damn. Okay. Uh, good. Good job. Not bad. Not bad. So we probably average what, seven, I think, on this. Not bad. Of course, up, there Carl? does exist a Mafia Cats background. Nice, Kelly. I like it. <laughs> That's Throw awesome. The, the oh, oh, there they are. Mafia Cats. Oh. <laughs> That's so cool. Very good. The team that got nine, which one did you get wrong? The last one. <laughs> we originally, uh, for, for our team, we originally uh, were going to have seven fact and three fiction, but then we decided all fact and take our chances but 10 was the one that we thought was probably fiction but we voted fact still netted positive oh my yeah it was a good it was a good flip well played, yeah. good chicken yeah. shit. <laughs> all right so we're gonna do one more round that we're gonna take a quick break so jeff i've just given you permissions yep king of kitties <laughs> I'll, I'll king of that. kittens so Hi, Julie. wait, Keegan, is, is that the kittens. is that the title of the round? It was no. gonna be all questions about kittens. No. Oh, that'd the, be great. No, so the it's not gonna be Mario questions part two, is it? There is one Mario question. Oh, I'm, I'm down for that. Oh. I'm, I'm this down for that. This is this is called uh this round is called These Games Sound Familial. <laughs> Category is all about video game characters and their families. Oh no. <laughs> now everybody I will have you. I, I will state that almost every question, almost, has a hint in it. Almost every single one. So if you're paying attention, you should be able to do okay, even if you don't really know these games. All so. right, muting. Three, two, one. All right. Question one. In Donkey Kong Country, the main protagonist is the grandson of the original Donkey Kong who um, and who appears in this game with a long white beard and a cane. His, uh, this grandfather character goes by a new nickname, which likely comes from his stereotypically elder demeanor. What is that name? Question number two. Speaking of Nintendo franchises, Bowser also has had offspring. He originally had seven but canonically now only has one, with the original seven being re-canonized as minions. Name any of them. If you can name any of them, you get a point. That's both the seven old ones or the, the one current one. Number three. In Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we've, this is the first time we hear a canonical reference about the father of Link, the main protagonist. While his father is still unnamed, we hear that Link chose to follow in his father's footsteps. What was his father's job?
Number four, this 2020 game has won numerous awards. Multiple prominent game outlets named it as their game of the year, although not by the video game awards. Um, it features the son of a Greek god attempting to escape from both his home and his overbearing and stern father, after which the game is named. What is the name of this game? Another hint, I've talked about it on this stream before. Number five, speaking of Greek gods, at the end of the original God of War trilogy, which is of course based on the Greek pantheon, Kratos goes to kill his father who has been corrupted by the evils from within Pandora's box. Who is his father? Hint, it's unsurprising. Number six, uh, the latest installment of the God of War series features a much more emotionally mature portrayal of its main character, Kratos, himself becoming a father and going on a journey with his own son, Atreus. There's a partic uh, particularly emotional moment where Atreus hunts his first deer and has to put it out of its misery. Does Kratos comfort him afterwards? Oh, a 50-50 chance. It's 50-50 chance. <laughs> So finally, both God of War and the game from number from question number four feature a stern father figure uh, who do not call their sons by name, but call them this term instead. In God of War, it was so frequent, it became a popular meme about the game in general, yielding the meme, dad of blank. Number eight, speaking of the 2020 Video Game Awards earlier, its game of the year was Last of Us Part Two, um, which features a surrogate father and daughter, uh, Joel and Ellie. In, the, in a particular bonding moment, Joel, um, the father or guardian, teaches Ellie, the game's main character, how to play a musical instrument. What instrument? I'll say, don't think too hard about that one. Number nine, in the game Castlevania, most of the games featured the Belmont family of monster hunters as the protagonists. However, in Castlevania Symphony of the Night, you play primarily as the son of the series' primary antagonist. Um, he, probably rebelled against, uh, he probably rebelled against his father because everybody calls him by his father's name spelled backwards. What is his commonly used name? Finally, number 10, in, in the 2013 title, Rogue Legacy, every time you die, you choose which of your descendants will be your heir as your new character. Every character has zero to two randomized traits, such as vertigo, which flips the world upside down, or hypergonadism, which causes enemies to, co to get knocked back further when hit. However, it made headlines because of one specific trait, which had no notable changes on your character other than a few cosmetic changes to the environment and the ending. What was that trait? And I will say I'm not asking for like super precise answer, but um, for number 10, what is the character characterization of that trait? All right. Okay, then. <laughs> I, I fear that uh, the elementary quantum of corn team that I will be on shortly, I will be no help to you. Sorry, guys. You know who you should I have on your why. team? You should have Jeff on your team. I think he'd know all these. I might. All right, everybody ready? No. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, all. We'll do a break after this. One, do you know? You're number nine. Well, I know I'm, none of. These. I know I, none of these. All right, what's number nine? I know a couple. 
What? I couldn't hear you, Abby. Alucard. Dracula spelled backwards. Uh, oh, so. that's something. I think it's either yes or no on one of the questions. Casper, yeah. do you know any of these? I've never played any of these games. Yeah. Uh, James? We'll just ask Jeff. He can, he can help us, right? <laughs> ask Julie. I'm sure she knows. Come on, Julie. Come on, Julie will play. Just send oh, Jeff let's out get that in there. Is that right, um, Alucard? That's spelling that. Yep, yeah. I think that's the proper backward spelling. You're, you're not you're not sharing your screen. Oh, you. I'm not. Hello, sorry. That, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? Okay, so number one. Uh, okay, you guys can see now. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So, what stinks is I played the game. I just don't remember what. Okay, well, there's hints uh, in all of these, so maybe we can guess something. I want to say like Papa or Poppy or something like that. Papa Kong. A long white beard and cane. There's the game with a long white beard. Right. And he said there's a hint in each of these, so. Elder demeanor. So it'd be something like a old man con or limpy con or elder con or right Kong. King Kong. Um, yeah, I think they might get in trouble for that one. Yeah, that old was, man yeah. Kong. Oh, what is it? Yeah, I don't think it's the. I don't think the name's that long. I think it's something short. I'm thinking like a Papa Kong or something, but I don't know. We can That's come fine. back to that one. Papa Kong. Um, okay, Bowser. Maybe the hint is canon. So maybe maybe the name is canon because he used canon twice in there. He says canonically recanonized. So maybe that's the hint in this canon, but that's the only thing that I could have any guesses. Well, right. Canon I see what is you're a saying. nice name for a minion, isn't it? Yeah. We'll put that for now because I, yeah, I can't think of anything else. Um, number three, I played uh, Breath of the Wild. It was very good. He's good at having obscure questions from them, though, but I'm pretty sure um, it's a knight because he starts out as a knight of Hyrule before he becomes like the chosen one uh, to wield the sword. Okay. Okay. So. so that's my thought, because he was a knight uh, as his job prior to him becoming the the main good guy. So I don't think you're going to get an argument from any of us. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll put that. Um, Oh, what is it? The son of a Greek god. See, and I was thinking, oh, it's God of War, but he mentions that in a in another question, and he says these two games. So I'm trying to think of another game that has the son of a Greek god in it. Gee, I, I'm I'm having a hard time coming up with it too. <laughs> now let's say uh, we'll we'll skip four for now. Come back to it. Number five. I At think number four, I don't know why. I'm just thinking of the name Hermes. Is that a game? Uh, yeah. That sounds very familiar, but I don't know what the name of the game would be. Oh, uh, hold on. First, if, if, for... Hold on. Just... Wait, the only person who knows anything is leaving. I'm back. I just had to yell at my uh, echo for a second there. So, was, um, Red Dead, was Red Dead Redemption was that last year, and was that about a Greek god? I've never played the game. No, that's like a uh, old west. Uh, okay, like shoot 'em up. You had mentioned Hermes. We'll put that for now. Um, but number five, we should be able to figure that out, right? Because um, Kratos goes to kill his father. The game is called God of War. I'm pretty sure we're looking at the Greek God of War. 
Hint when is you think surprising is the hint. Aries. Yeah, so I'm thinking I just couldn't, I was blanking. I always get my Greek and Roman yeah. gods mixed up. So yeah. so that's how I was like, I'll let someone else confirm. But yeah, so I'm pretty sure Aries is be the answer for that. Wouldn't you wouldn't you guys agree? Sure. Yeah. I mean, that makes the most sense. And he says, hint, it's unsurprising. So, okay, latest installment of God of War. Uh, does Kratos comfort him afterwards? So that's an easy 50-50. We just, I haven't played any of the God of War games. I'm familiar with them, but I haven't played them. So It's an um, odd thing to ask. So I would say, you know, why, why, why that? Does he comfort him afterwards? Yeah, part of me wonders, since it has to be asked, wouldn't it make more sense for him to have not done it? Yeah, let's say no. Yeah, what happened to James? Are we Have we lost James? or Are you there, James? No, he's, he just muted himself. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking boy, but... That's, that's the first thing that popped into my head. So are we in agreement on that one, that they're just that calling him fits. boy? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I remember the meme, and the meme is, it's always boy. So. And then the next one is uh, Last of Us Part Two, in a particular bonding moment. Uh, oh, we get to play it, we get the name of. Uh, name an, an instrument. At first, I was thinking guitar. That's the first thing that came to me. But Joel, being the surrogate father, are we thinking of a hint that would be maybe like Billy Joel and, and so therefore it would be piano? Because mm. my first thought was guitar, but then I'm trying to see the hint in the question and wondering if no, Joel- No, Joel being, is the one who, who teaches her, so. Right, and if, if Joel is kind of like, you know. There's maybe, James, James. Maybe like Billy Joel, you know these, then right? maybe it would be guitar. Huh? Billy Joel played guitar? I mean piano, sorry. Mm. I originally thought guitar, but then seeing Joel, if it's in any way a hint to Billy Joel, I would so think why piano did you think instead it was of guitar. Because usually your first instinct is the right I don't instinct. know. I just I had a picture of a guitar. Maybe I saw <laughs> yeah, like a trailer for the game guitar. and saw a guitar. Yeah, what, I'm more what like what guitar. I like guitar. Because just your first the, the other the other thing is is Last of Us is like a post apocalyptic kind of thing like the whole world went to crap yeah there's like no where where, where, are you, where are you gonna find pianos that are in tune and stuff I think it'd be much easier in a post apocalyptic wasteland to carry a guitar around than to go oh here here's this piano I'm gonna teach you how to use right would, would you guys agree with that mm -hmm. yeah okay and then we have nine we have nine is uh, Dracula right. spelled backwards. Hopefully, 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 and then number ten, Rogue Legacy. I don't. That game doesn't ring a bell. Well, you really, Rogue, uh, you really pick some good obscure stuff, Jeff. Because I'm like, well, I, I mean, play video games. Say, and I still don't know the, any of these. Pay attention to the end of question ten. Right. So, okay. um, Rogue. I mean, itself. If that is the um, the origin of roguelike games. So the it's the kind of game where you. Uh, like you don't you you, you can't save. Um, it's like it's a run, and when you go as far as you can without any saving, and then you die, and then you have to start over. Maybe with um, benefits that you got on that run. Okay, made headlines because of one specific trait, which had no notable changes on your character other than the few cosmetic changes you are. Could it be you change your skin color? Maybe. Because that would be something that would make headlines because of one specific trait. Okay, every character. Yeah, no right. notable changes on your character other than a few cosmetic changes. But it says cosmetic changes to the environment, not uh -oh. cosmetic changes to the character. Okay, so we'll think along that lines. What could be controversial, sort of? Well, it didn't say controversial, but it enough to make some kind of headlines. The, you could change the history or maybe you can make it climate change. No. 
Okay, yeah, it has no notable changes in your character other than a few cosmetics. Yeah. Um, Why not? Problem with um, this we're on number ten is hypergonadism yeah. is not is uh, enlarged uh, genitalia, not uh, not back further one hit. I don't know what he's talking about. Well, I think, think it's equating it because problem. since yeah, since you have the hypergonadism when you get hit, it causes you to go further back. I guess that's that's the effect on the game that it has. Oh, okay, it's the way I took it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe nationality. For ten, or um, like playing. you play a different. Could you play a different, like a country? So you're now part of France, or you're part of. Because that wouldn't affect you. Well, that would kind of affect. He you. said, "Pay attention to the last part of the question." Yeah. So are we saying, the last part meaning the last sentence or the last couple sentences? Because the last sentence is just what was that trait? I think the latter part of the question. So ignoring everything else up until however it made headlines. That's where I'm thinking. Huh? Well, yeah. Headlines because of a specific trait, which oh. had, I'm, I'm thinking the key is the no notable changes on your character other than a few cosmetic changes. That's what I'm thinking of too. Okay. <laughs> okay. That will be that far behind you. I just, I don't know. It's weird. It says no notable changes on your character, but then other than a few changes to the environment. And that would be controversial because they would be saying, why, why add this in here? Maybe you could change your gender? No. But that wouldn't be a change to the environment. That would be a change, change to everybody's the character. Gender. And the ending, what do you mean the ending? The ending of the game? Right. It affects the end of the game, is, is what I take from that. What would that, how could you change the effect, you mean of the next game you play? So, so when you play the game at the end, you're able to choose who is going to be your, your, your heir and will be the next, like, like in um, Star Wars, where they pass it off to, Right. I don't I don't necessarily out. think you dying ends the game. They're just it's just a when you die, you play the rest of the game with a different no, character. Right? The next what game happens, is the next character. Yeah, so what happens with the game? roguelike what, what happens with the roguelike game is you're you um like going through uh how well you do in your first run of the game. Right. Will affect things that you're able to do to make your next run better, but you're starting okay. over the game. Just Got it. Have, okay. have more abilities. Okay. So you could, at the end of your game, whatever decisions you make would affect the next game, is what you're saying. Yes. It, but you only can choose certain qualities, certain traits, such as vertigo or, or other things. So this, is, this question is saying that in 2013, they, they allowed you to pick one specific trait that that was kind of odd. It it just kind of changed the well, whole. Well, you didn't get to pick. It says they're randomized. It's just that one of the traits, I guess, well, made you, headlines because I of guess what. Usually, it would be like, uh, from what I can tell you, think from here, it's like they have a few options for you to choose from. It's like these are the three care three heirs, a three three descendants you can choose from, and here are the traits that this this descendant has. This descendant has these traits, and these this descendant has these traits. You choose which one is your favorite, and then you play the game as the next one. Right. right. So what they're saying is normally, whatever those traits are, they would have some sort of changing the feel of the game a lot, like like it says turning it upside down. Whereas this new change, this new thing, is not going to really, you know, like now it changes the world to black and white or something. So your character doesn't change, but now everything's black and white and you play the next game in black and white or in sepia or... Wait, I'm looking at something. Yeah. What if the answer is Vertigo? Because Vertigo, it does not, from what he says, does not seem like it's something that affects anything other than the cosmetic changes to the environment. So maybe vertigo is the answer. 
even though it's mentioned specifically earlier in the question? You think that that's Maybe. the answer? No, really? Oh. I guess that you probably wouldn't have said pay attention pay to the last right. part. The last part, yeah. Yeah. I think it's just something visual that is not going to change the gameplay at all. It's just some kind of visual thing that. Maybe it's uh, everybody becomes cartoons or. I just wish I knew more about this game, but I, I'm not familiar. I with read the Wikipedia article like a year or two ago. Oh well, then you have but the best information. So what do you got? I don't so what is it, Abby? Come on. Chat, it. Come on, go into your go into your. Uh, so long ago. you. I can barely remember things I did last week. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. Uh, we need you to be hypnotized so you can. Uh, yeah, find your find question. your memory. Yeah. Okay. I I think if it's if if I have to choose something, it's going to be that. I don't know what have anything to do with the ending, but I'm going to say the cosmetic changes to the environment is the next game is played in black and white. But I don't know what that have to do with the ending. So black right. and white is color or something. Yeah, so I would think yeah, you normally think playing said, color. So Jeff, you said that we could just describe the trait in number ten, and that would be enough said if you if you have the gist of it it's fine okay uh do we or have it's just... always raining it's always raining all right <laughs> um i think i'm gonna call everybody back okay call okay. it back we're done yeah we're, we're, we're grasping at straws good. here anyway so i know what it is is people of corn everybody has to carry a sickle <laughs> R.I.P. Billy Joel. Billy Joe. Okay. I have no yeah, idea. He explained it to us. It's from a song. It's the Bridge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I vaguely remember it. But he's fictional. 19, uh, the movie, the movie was called Ode to Billy Joe. It's about a based on a song by Bobby Gentry. And it starts off. It was the third of June, another Delta Dusty Day. Something like that. And it's the day Billy Joe McAllister. Jumped off the Tallahatchie. Tallahassee Bridge. Tallahatchie. Tallahatchie. Yes. Good song. Very good yeah, song. Yeah, it's the 3rd of June. That's today. Okay, we're back. Jeff, what you got for us? All right. I'm scared. <laughs> oh. Number one, Donkey Kong Country. Um, his grandfather goes by a new nickname, which likely comes from his stereotypically elder demeanor. Of course, all of the Kongs have rhyming names, such as Candy Kong, Funky Kong, oh. uh, Dixie Kong, Diddy Kong, and this one is Cranky Kong. Ew. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And of course, the whole donkey thing came from <laughs> a, uh, a misinterpretation of English, right? Yeah. I heard that, yeah. It's supposed to be monkey. Yeah. Right. So, um, number two, Bowser's offspring. So, I'll name off the first seven Koopa kids because these are the ones that you probably wouldn't have gotten if you're not familiar with the games, which are Iggy, Larry, Lemmy, Ludwig, Morton, Roy, and Wendy. See, I knew. But of course, the one, one that I was hoping more people would get, as it's pretty kind of in the name, Bowser Jr. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> There's the hint. <laughs> Number three, uh, Breath of the Wild, um, the main, the father of the main protagonist, Link. Um, well, Link's job is, of course, to save the princess. So he is a knight. Yay, we got one right. Oh, no. We have one correct. One. Number four. So the 2020 game that won numerous awards, many game outlets named it the na their game of the year. Um, many people thought the video game awards was actually kind of rigged because it basically preferred AAA games instead of indie games. And this was an indie game, but almost like, but was universally claimed by almost everybody as one of the best games of the year. 
The game is called Hades. Ah. It started with an H. I just couldn't remember what the H. I got it. <laughs> yeah. I think have to have all the answers in the right places. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't be picky come on now. wait you're not on my team okay you, you dropped five. your answers and they got mixed up yeah <laughs> yeah That's number happened. five I, I did hear some people reason about like oh well it's called god of war so his father's the god of war but that's not actually true um his father is of course the most prolific father in the greek gods zeus oh no that's not fair <laughs> you can only use the chicken shit method if you're on the team chicken shit. <laughs> <laughs> we had two right so, answers, we just weren't in the right spot. They were switched. Yeah, we're, we're feeling really undone here. Yeah. For number six. Was chicken shit. Um, one second. One second while I get this. It up. I don't know why I can't find it. I have too many windows open. Yeah. Oh. Um. Fence is killing me. What is this? Oh, yeah. Well. Wait, that's not the right script. Is this it? All right. I have a little video clip. Do that. So in this moment, Atreus is over his over the uh, body of the deer that he has just killed. And the answer is no, he doesn't. In the crazy, hey, we got one right. We got one right. <laughs> he does not comfort him, but almost, he almost did. So where was the hint in that question? There. So <laughs> the hint was that this is an emotionally mature portrayal of fatherhood, and he's a stern father learning to emotionally mature. But so, was there, what that was supposed to be a deer? That huge thing there. It, it's definitely a mythical deer like it's it's a <laughs> mythic like elk kind of thing but it's it's definitely a deer and it's definitely it definitely makes deer like cries and it's yeah it's pretty sad uh but at the same time it's also this very endearing moment at which you uh, finally see the conflict um occurring within him about being a father. and based on a true story right <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah. So just to put it in the chat, no, but almost. There no is sufficient. Possible answers, yes, no, and almost. And <laughs> almost it was not was not necessary. Um, number seven. Um, in God of War, it was so frequent, it became a popular meme about the game in general. Of course, the meme was uh, they should have called it Dad of Boy. No, no, we got another one. We got another one. We got another one. Yay. Boy, like he would just, uh, he would just be like, "Boy, you get half a point for Sunny Boy." <laughs> no, if you recall, the first thing out of my mouth was "boy." <laughs> Why like didn't you, were you saying, put "boy"? It down. This is step one. I got no clue. So, uh, number eight, um, of course, like the Last of Us Part Two. Of course, it's the Last of Us, meaning that there are not very many people left. So, what is the most practical instrument? At that time, of course, it's a guitar. Oh, I said, oh, yeah, out of the blue, he just Will said, you take must. cello. No, <laughs> although I love the, I, I do, I would love to award you a bonus point for that, but unfortunately not. It wouldn't be fair. Where was the hint? So, <laughs> um, so it's There's particularly somewhere. Yeah, so it's basically. <laughs> I may have not given a great hint on that, but the fact that it's called Last of Us, it's a zombie game. So you're in the zombie apocalypse. What do you have? Grand piano. Uh, <laughs> just to give you a yeah, translation, Jeffrey, when someone sure. says, where was the clue? That means there was no damn clue there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I agree. The letters of guitar 
are mm. in the <laughs> word question somewhere. Mm. Mixed See, we thought the hint was Joel for Billy Joel. Mm. Yeah, you know. <laughs> we did the question too. was 88 characters long. It was obvious. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, that, that, that was something that came up with us too. Was, All right. Oh, it's Joel. For number nine, I realized I was slightly unclear on the wording because some of you got the father and some of you got the son. So I'll accept either answer. Um, because I was ambiguous in the in what I said, but um, of course, the the answer here is the son is named Alucard, which is Dracula backwards. So Dracula is also accepted. Okay. Good job, team. Which of course, Castlevania, Transylvania. You know. Yeah, we got that. Bit. I yeah. think we got that one right too. Yeah. It's the one I knew. Good job. Okay. Finally, the last job. one. What should have been notice noticeable about this is that it made headlines for it, and the yeah, fact yeah. that it offered no changes, yeah, other than other than cosmetic. And of course, that is because the trait was about being gay. Oh, oh okay. I was on the right so track. I it, said skin color. What it did was it swapped the uh, certain statues. Uh, of particular genders would give you a particular kind of like either health or magic and um they just swap the genders of them when if you chose uh if you chose a character who was gay so, and then so the gender is an acceptable uh, answer at the very end of the game um no that's you, not gender you, you no. do uh it does show you uh getting married and so that oh, that's you, what you mean by the ending. The of the ending. That yeah. really threw me. So it's like a superpower. Said, it's really like gender, a superpower. Yeah. If we said gender, is that right? No. 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 Gender and sexuality are different things. Yeah, Abby, tell us about this. You did a whole lecture. <laughs> <on it. laughs> I, so yeah. So, so I, I finally decided that it probably was. It turned the whole screen turned black and white, and the next game would be mm. black and white. Yeah, we were close. Oh, time yeah, travel. We that yeah. time. Time travel. Was colorblind. <laughs> Listen, they actually they had one. I had a very interesting uh, take on it. What was no, they had ones that were like nostalgic that uh, would make everything sepia tone. I said that, didn't I? Yeah, yeah I said sepia or black and white, but I bet. We had no idea, mm. but but it didn't make headlines for that one. Yeah, we the first thing I said was that it yeah, changed your skin tone. The headline should have so that you could change. Off. And then I said, then they said, but what would that have to do with the ending? And and what would that have to do with the the you know the character sure. that affects the character, not the game? So we were like, I don't know. That was hard. Fair well, enough. All right. Didn't get zero, team. All right, you guys, good choices. So let's start with Mafia yeah. Cats. What do you got? Sepia. Three. Woo. Three. Woo and it's sepia or sepia. It depends on who you're who it is you're talking to. Um, sepia. It's, it's sepia, sepia or sepia. sepia. It, it's either. Yeah. The headless birds sepia. from Gail's yard. How many you got? I believe we have five. All uh, right. The team back so, me up on that? We expect to be reinstated to first place in August. Four. Four. And the team I was on and the Jeff's team that let's hope he didn't screw it over. The elementary quantum of corn. Five. Ooh. And chicken chip bingo. Who's in the lead? Four. Who is Wow. Nice. Team, no we got smoke. This is terrible. <laughs> Who is no longer in the lead, but is now tied. So let's see. Tied for the lead, I will point out. Yeah, tied for the lead. Okay, so All let's right. Well, we fully accept to be reinstated, so. <laughs> By August. That's a long time to wait. Here we go. Fly back. No problem. Here we go. Four, five. Okay, so 11. Okay, eight for Mafia Cats. 11, 12, and 13, and 13. What? So Mafia That's Cats right. are within. No. What? I, Two thirteens. Oh wow! To tie for the lead. The rest of you can expect to find a dead bird. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for the mafia cat. Right. We'll be delivering oh. dead bird heads while you guys. Enjoy. It's not much of a row anymore. It's kind of like row, row, row. Okay, five minute break. Five minutes. Your bird sleeps with the fishes. Somewhere in <laughs> whiskey because it's more specific. It qualifies mm -hmm. as bourbon. 
Kitty kitties. Kitty kitty kitty. Meow. Kitty 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 kitty. They're like so cute. That's his little butt. All right, back to the. All right. The grind. So we have only a few announcements this week. And don't forget, we got to take a picture. So I'll wait till everybody gets back to take a picture. We had a really lovely party at my house the other day. I wish you guys could have been there. We had 22 people showed up on Sunday. 22 people and 12 wow. of them played trivia. So we took, we took a nice photo. I don't know if everybody saw the photo or group photo. I wonder if I should pull it up. Pull it up. I will. Okay. Um, I love seeing pictures of me. <laughs> data skeptic. What do you got coming up, data skeptic? I'll pick the picture up while you're talking. All right. Yeah. Well, this week on Data Skeptic, I'm talking to a researcher from uh, somewhere in Europe in Switzerland who built a Python library that helps with time series analysis. So that's what we get into this week on Data Skeptic. Data Skeptic. And now I have to pay attention to your podcast a lot more. All righty. Sounds good. I'm like, my day job is I'm the Python person at Amazon. Oh, oh for real? Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll nice. have to talk to him. Let's find that group picture. So we had we had people who came over on uh, Paula and Jim Newman came over on Saturday at like two in the morning. Thankfully, they had to be to my house, so I didn't have to wake up. Um, and then we had a really funny thing happen with Jane and Arlen because Arlen was wearing a T-shirt for a small city in Nebraska. Nebraska. Yeah. And it turns out Jane turned and looked at him and said, that's where I grew up. <laughs> he just happened to be wearing a t-shirt of uh, this town that she grew up in. It was really funny. So we took Wasn't it celebrating the Pony Express? Yeah. yeah. So here's, here's, here's us. And there's Mono and Deborah and Paula and there's Peggy and Jane and myself and Newman. There's Caspian, Robin, Jamie. And this is Jerry and Carmen and Isabella and uh, Francoise and there's Karen. So we were all in the picture. It was hilarious. Just hilarious, you guys. We had so much fun. We played games. Uh, people stayed late. Some of the people stayed late. We played Cards Against Humanity and then some game where we had to be a werewolf. Something. Is that the Karen. werewolves and vampire game? No, Caspian had it. I don't remember what it is. Werewolves, and you had to go to sleep, and you had to wake yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played that. It was a variation of Assassin Mafia, but I yeah, I played Mafia. Mafia was it was it one night Ultimate Werewolf or or the old school Werewolf? It's we have to guess who the, who the people are that are that are lying and who the different. Well, we like characters. one night Ultimate means like you only have one time where everybody goes to sleep, and you have to guess who. To the world. Yeah, I don't. I didn't like that one. I prefer the the longer one, where every every uh, yeah. time you go to sleep, someone else dies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I like that Except one. Except if you have a medic that saves them. Of course you would, Paula. So it was, it was fun. We played a few rounds of that, and then we also played a Zool, oh, but not not with the group so much. But it was Jim Newman and and Paula and I and Deborah we, the day before. And uh, they left, uh, Paula and Deborah, I mean, Paula and uh, Newman left at like nine at night on Monday because he has a hydrogen car. That was crazy. We didn't want to leave that late. But they had to because there's only one hydrogen station to get it, get hydrogen between LA and, and where I live. So it was out of order. So they had to wait till it got in order. And you got home about 3.30 in the morning? About three in the morning, yeah. I, said, I went to work at 9.30 the, the, the same day. <laughs> anyway, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we'll hopefully be able to do more fun things with you guys. I'm going to hopefully come visit people. And I have am you got, going to have you, seen, have you guys seen the episode of Twilight Zone called Will the Real Martian Stand Up? Yeah, the guys in the diner? Yeah, that's a good storyline to play the mafia game with where all the people are in the diner two cops and you're trying to find who the Martian is. Use the same storyline in that game, Mafia or, or the werewolf game. Okay, Just have to make I sure can... everybody takes off their hat. I'm gonna yeah. take a photo. <laughs> I'm gonna take a photo because I can do it because I have less than, 
I think because Avi left, sadly, we I have enough I can put everybody on my screen. So I'll do a photo. Ready, everybody? Look at the screen and smile. One, two. Here's my cat. Three. Cat. Okay, I got it. I think. Let me see if I can copy it here. I'm good. I don't know about you guys. Wait, uh, uh, Susan, hang on one second. You're waiting. Yeah. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. Too bad I missed that. So sad. I am so disappointed. Okay. Now now you take a picture. Nice. There's Avi. Oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Oh, so darling. Hold on, hold on. Oh, he's gonna hate that. That's good, Ellen. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. <laughs> You got any naked pictures of his butt? <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Okay, ready? Like Everybody the other look guy at the had... screen. Everybody look at the screen. One, two, three. Got it. Okay. I think. Oh. Obviously, I like that a lot. What, what's funny is when Alan first turned, I thought he was just going to do the side profile so he can look like Carl always does in his, <laughs> his screen. <laughs> I'm like, he's just turning sideways. Which is, I thought he was going to show me something. Something I should. Hey, Everybody should do that for a picture yeah. one week. Yeah. There's that a that would be good. We should all do that. Carl, Carl should look straight ahead, and everybody yeah. else should turn. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I, there's a naked butt picture. Oh my gosh! Hot fun. It's naughty. It's oh, I've been to Peggy's house too. Ooh, lucky you. And she takes her, her dog, Dallas, out to poop on Pebble Beach. <laughs> well, I mean, she lives that close to Pebble Beach. Poop on Pebble Bottom. Beach, all right. She's yeah. that close That's to our Pebble. motto here. Yeah. More, more pebbles for the <laughs> Let's beach. Let's all poop on Pebble Beach. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so great. I got photos, I'm happy. Uh, it's always a good day when I get photos. So we are going to remove the powers from Jeffrey, if I haven't already. Sorry, Jeffrey. Some of these pebbles are not real pebbles. Yeah. And the next is going to be who is next? Might be oh, me. it's Kevin. Okay. Where are you, Kevin? I never can find Kevin because he changes his screen so often when I think I know. I'm the one with the talking right now with the orange shirt. Oh, there you are up here. Yeah, it, it's like. You guys move around and then you change things on me. Okay, I'm set. Everybody ready? So Kevin, is our is our team going to be screwed? Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you mean there's a chance it won't be? It depends on what you know about the category. <laughs> Billy Joel. Very good sign. Very oh, that's just Kevin. cheating. Billy Joel for every answer. No, <laughs> what I have is. Um, the category is match the famous nightclub or venue to the event that happened there. Ugh. So I'm going to give 11 possible answers, 11 questions, 11 locations, and 11 answers. That way, if you get one wrong, you're getting really two wrong, you can still score a nine. If you get all 10, you didn't know one, you're going to automatically get it right because it process of elimination. <clears throat> so I'll list a few of them because I'm afraid to paste them all in one shot. But it's, here we go. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, Kelly, you wanna make us go away? Oh, well, do we have the answers? I'm coming up right now. I'm pasting. Yeah, so I'm not going to make a run go live. Oh, you mean mute everybody? Yeah. Yeah. I guess I can. I don't know if that worked. So you're muted. Sorry. Are we calling to... the category? Oh, match the fame. Okay. Well, at least this is going to go fast because we've already got the category. We've already got every, all the questions. Mark, you might want to help me on this. I'm going to see if I can cut and paste this. Um, the chat does not uh, continue for um, if you're on a Chromebook. So I'm going to cut and paste this, I guess. 
Is this is everything there now, Kevin? Is fire the should end with K? Fire is the last word. Yes. Kevin, Kevin, you're muted. One through 11 and A through K. So like if the answer for one matches whatever letter, you just write one letter, two letter, all the way down. So we have 11, so we can, we have a bonus, so. Yeah, in so case if we you get, get one, one wrong, wrong, you're actually gonna get two wrongs, that way you can still score a nine. What do you need? And if you know 10, what? you don't have to know all 11 because the by elimination, the other one is right. Nightclubs. And their venues, the famous nightclub or venue to the end. Okay, let's go to our rooms. Good luck, everybody. Okay. Bear. So Gail has not been assigned. Oh, yeah. So Gail, you're going to go back to your room, which was one. Wow. Hamilton. Mark's in here eating yogurt. So he wants his yogurt. Okay. I'm Going to room three. What did you want? Well, the, this you would get two wrong, right? So you know, yeah. score eight. I did eleven, so you could score okay. nine points. Well, Ten please, or nine points, please. eight all the way to one through one through. I one. still don't get it. Doesn't matter. We'll try the best we can. Well, if you had ten and you got one wrong, right? You actually actually will get two wrong because each answer is only used once. I don't understand. So it would be impossible to score nine if I only. Okay, four. those are the venues, and yeah. then they answer these I questions here. Know. So Dylan goes electric. This one is famous for disco drugs and celebrities like Andy Warhol. CBGB, CBGBs. Which one is Dylan goes electric? I have to hear all the rest of them first. Okay, famous for disco drugs and celebrities like Andy Warhol. CBG, CBGBs. That's okay. So. A, we don't know. B is going to be two. Well, so, so Susan, Susan, yeah. I, I, I've been sharing my screen. Do you not see it? Yeah. I don't know what you're reading. I'm looking at your screen. Okay. So it looks like you were typing something or moving something. So I want to put, I want to put the answers here because I've been doing that. Okay. So um, Mark says that B, famous for disco drugs and celebrities, is the CBGB. No, so, no. B huh? is... So we're B doing the other way around. The say, two, say two, one, four, one is what one is what letter, two is what letter, three is what letter. So, so one is what letter? What is Rolling Stones? One, that's the Rolling Stones one. That's where the guy was stabbed. One is H. Alton right? is H. One is H. I'm moving that up Alton. there. Okay, one is H. Okay, two. so CBGB stands for Country Bluegrass that's Blues. But it's a punk rock club in New York. I think it's, uh, I think it's Jay, Talking Head Blondie and the Police. Jay, Talking Head Blondie and the Police. Uh, there. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Elaine's. That's I. People that you knew at Elaine's from the, from the uh, Billy Joel song. Ah, Billy Joel. Okay, I like that. Four is Dylan A. Kevin, you should go to another room because this is the room that's being recorded. Oh, good idea. Where is Dylan? Where I'm in our tour, am is as I have that. That's the uh, I was there. Oh, oh look, Grand Ole Opry. The station station that's, Club. That's the fire. That's that's uh, K. The Great White Fire. What is that about? Hmm. The, that one. the band Great White had pyrotechnics that were hit the roof and. Oh, hundred people Oh, I do remember a club burning. Yeah, I would have had no idea about the name. Of Studio the Fifty Four. That's the one that did. That's the disco. disco the Andy try, yeah, that one I know. Gosh, we did. You guys did good. The Troubadour. 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 Yeah. That one, I'm not sure. Well, what's left? Uh, Lady Gaga first appeared on stage at this New York location. Not in New York. Okay, Sunset Boulevard, The Doors, and Janis Joplin played here. What's that one? I think is uh, uh, Last Viper River. That, River. That, that's E is E is the Viper Room. River Phoenix died outside the. Viper oh, the Viper Room. room. I do remember that. And Whiskey Go Go is Whiskey C, I go -Go. Believe, Boulevard. That's where the Doors played. Okay, Mark says that's where the Doors played. Yeah. 
The Whiskey well, Go-Go. Sunset Boulevard, The Doors, and Janet Joplin. Yeah, that's 11. That's Whiskey at Go-Go. And so Triad Theater is left and the Troubadour is left. And Reginald Dwight, that's, that's Elton John. But Ooh. I'm not sure whether it's the Triad or the Troubadour. I live in New York, but I don't recognize either of those names. The Troubadour is in Hollywood on Santa Monica Boulevard. Then, oh. then Triad's got to be Lady Gaga. That look right then? Eight is. Uh, I thought we just have one left over. Scroll it down a little bit so we can see all of them. Make it smaller. Smaller. Okay, that's good. Okay, Altamont Speedway. The Troubadour would be like the birds or. Or, uh, well, we so have one, a pair of original I'm pretty confident of. Two, I'm 70% confident. Three, 100%. Nobody four, is. Four, 100%. Five, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm 100%. 100%. I actually saw the Grand Old Opry at the Ryman Auditorium because the Grand Old Opry is 100%. Seven, 95%. Six, 90, um, So assuming that eight is in Los Angeles, it can't be D or. I don't is know what's supposed to be going Is on. it in LA? Yeah. Okay, he says the Troubadour is in LA. Okay. And Did that Reginald seems to be... Dwight become an overnight sensation there? I don't know who Reginald Dwight is. Okay, that's not, he doesn't know who Reginald Dwight is. Reginald Dwight that? is Elton John. Elton John. No. He doesn't think so. Mark says no. Hmm. Troubadour is like a folk rock, the birds, Jackson Brown. Hmm. So could folk. that be the Talking Heads one? I know Blondie played at CBGB, but uh, it no, could also I, be, it could be. It's got to be a West Coast sound. CBGB is kind of closed down and before. Lady Gaga. I mean, I don't know how long Lady Gaga has been around. So, Mark's left the room. So I don't know. So we're we're not sure about two, eight, and nine. Then I guess he's right. Well, whiskey, whiskey of Gogo. -Go, that could be the Troubadour. Could also be on Sunset Boulevard if it's in Los Angeles, which is Sunset Boulevard. I can't imagine Elton John becoming famous at. In LA, he's more of a New Yorky kind of. But you know, the, which of these head. is a so if we if we move those around. So which ones, which the ones we're not sure of, 11 is 11, eight, nine, not, not eight, nine, 11, and uh, two. two. Cause two and two is definitely New York. Nine, I don't know. But I don't. I think Lady Gaga predates when CBGB closed up. Hmm. But it so, could have. It could have. She if she started, because I remember CBGB was has been closed at some point since I've moved to New York, which is hmm. 20, 30 years ago. But I think it's been closed for kind of a while. Would that make sense then? The older one, Felton John. But Elton John, the true which, hmm? but also the Doors and Janet Joplin. So Whiskey Go Go is pretty old. These are all. <sighs> so is Whiskey a Go Go in Sunset Boulevard? Whiskey Go Go is definitely in Los Angeles, and I'm pretty sure. So it's how in about Sunset, Sunset Boulevard. Boulevard? The Doors and Janet Joplin played at the Troubadour. 
and then put so either, Wine either way and CBGB and then the talking heads at Whiskey A Go Go. I'm only suggesting I don't know, but yeah. I don't think that I don't think that Elton John was famous in uh, became famous in LA. It just seems not but where right. would where would he have been famous? New York. Not necessarily. I mean, he's from England, so why, why, why more England? Why, why more New York than LA? I don't know. It just doesn't feel like I. That's what I heard, but I don't know. I don't know a lot about Elton John. I don't know. I still don't understand the scoring here, I and mean, he even tried to explain it to me. When I was Basically, alone. there's one extra question, so you can get up. You can get up to ten. I think. Yeah, but yeah. we were saying, well, you can't get nine, you can get eight, you can get 10. I don't understand what the hell he was talking about. I'm saying he said you can get 10. But you could get 10 if there were 10. So I don't, I don't know what did He's what just right. That doesn't help because if you flip it, then you're going to get nine. That's right. Because two are wrong. So I don't understand why he thought he yeah. was doing by adding another one here. I don't know. I don't know. If only one of us was the person who's in charge of this whole trivia night. And could put in a rule similar to the time she said. I don't know how I would you explain that. You only have that. one answer per question. I don't maybe, know how. Maybe I a rule that says ten questions per per round. I don't know. No, I actually I don't have my. Somebody actually once did. I'll give you eleven questions. If you get any ten right, you get ten points. I like that. That's an extra. But yeah. this was like. Well, I think that's what he did here, except but, that it's it's a it, weird, it's weird. Except it doesn't answer. do that because it, it would force you to get a nine if you get one wrong, because then you're going to have two wrong. Yeah. So that's kind of weird. This isn't a bonus. It's just an extra. Hmm. Anyway. All right. So we're still not clear on three. So we could possibly easily have three wrong here, I guess. Three. Oh, oh, three. Well, we got three. We could have four wrong. Four, I mean. Yeah, it could have to be even number. Well, it doesn't have to be even number. No, it could just be moved one, two, three. Yeah. It doesn't have to be four. Okay. I mean, the Talking Heads are an East Coast band. The police, so... I, I, I'm pretty conf confident on number two for CBGB because that's they're all the talking heads were a punk new wave and CBGB was a punk new even despite the name it was a, it was a punk 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 club okay um, and those were all sort of punk new wave yeah and fit in there the triad theater I haven't heard of but I assume it's mostly re fair can be fairly recent. Whiskey a Go Go. If we're sure that the Troubadour is in Los Angeles, and the Whiskey a Go Go is in Los Angeles, then that's then then Lady Gaga had to be the, the Triad Theater has to be New York. So, mm -hmm. okay. okay, I guess a process and of it, elimination. Yeah, that's I mean, what he said. Is that hopefully at this point we're only going to overthink it, but I'm fairly confident we we've, we've got them here. Okay. Good, 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 good. I mean, right. it's possible we've 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 got at least we've got at least seven, but hopefully nine or eleven. Kevin, come back. <laughs> All right. The full, the full name of CBGBs is actually CBGB O F M U G, Country Bluegrass Blues, or other music for urban ganderizers i don't, I don't know the <laughs> thing. it had this whole law you can it's a I'll, once we're done i'll google it and there's there's this long complicated uh, title for the club okay well good job guys i would have done nothing well i, I might have gotten two i might have gotten two or three i mean the rhyme in for sure because i was there yeah um, once I figured it, once you're right about the, I realized the river was River Phoenix. I remember it was Viper Room. Yeah. And maybe that's all I would have gotten. Even that probably wouldn't have gotten. I, no, I would have got, the I studio, I would have got studio 54 just because of talking about the drugs. Yeah. I no think I would have always, yes, I that a couple. Did you push the go button on that one, Susan? Yeah. Some people needed more time. Oh, because I thought go? I did it by accident. <laughs> no, it was me. I was changing rooms right when that happened. 
Our rule is they have to beg, I think. We would like more time, please. We would like to beg for more time. <laughs> Dude, we need more time. Who needs more time? I think two groups at least need more time. We, need we would more love time. more time. Okay, I'll put we you need back in for... Time, we need more time. Okay, wait till these come close. Wait till well, the I, You got to sleep before one o'clock, so... Okay. <laughs> I'll give you another minute. <laughs> oh, give us two or three. Oh. Okay, so don't go to the rooms if you don't need it. Okay. Not now. I want to know what Bob's shirt says. Oh, this says Incredible God Vacation Bible School. And then the name of the church I was attending, summer of 2019. So I did the cooking. We we gave the kids supper that week. You know what a vacation Bible school is? Yeah, I, I do. used to go every year. Yeah. Um, I used to do so, the snacks for that. <laughs> yeah, oh, we gave, no, we did supper. We did supper. The wow. first thing we came in and we fed them. And I I cooked um, two sup that summer in a row. And uh, so that was maybe July. Three months later, I was an atheist. Oh, that's what did it? No, it was. It was so, what, so I've seen the pictures of you playing Santa Claus. Was that also there? No, I've never done that there. And there's a museum. My my uh, my classy gig is a museum. But then I get other jobs. People see me at the museum and then they talk to my boss and say, hey, how do I get a hold of him? Or they he just come like up Santa? with you. Huh? They say he looks like Santa? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, so I've gotten a couple gigs um, from, from that, from the museum thing. Hmm. Okay, has it been two minutes? Yep. I'm going to close the room because that gives them one minute. Don't ever say I didn't give you something. Oh, I just saw Kelly's backdrop. That's the mafia cats, huh? Those are the mafia cats, yes. The mafia cats. Yes, great backdrop. I love it. Uh, tough kitties. How did you find these things so quickly? Uh, no, right? Everything's on the internet, Mono. Right. Yeah. But it takes a while to find a good one, right? I mean, you you get What's a lot of rubbish you got to go through. I don't know. We, we'll need to ask her if that was like the first picture that showed up when she Googled. Oh, no, we, we were all sent this whole page of Mafia Cat images, and she tried at least one other first, but oh, okay. this is the one that showed up best. Yeah, yeah, I have so, a question about your background. So so here we go. I just uh, I just Googled it, and that's what I got. <laughs> yeah, see, there we are. Awesome. Oh, cool. Yeah, scroll down Ooh, the, the Godfather cat. Cute. <laughs> Scroll down a little bit further and it should show it. Yeah, I tried Bob. the Godfather. <laughs> there it is. There awesome. It is. Bob, Bob is excited because he knows about the Godfather now. Yeah. The do we do we need to do we need to cite our our Zoom background sources? Or will we get in trouble if we don't? <laughs> well, we are recording this, so maybe yeah. Uh... <laughs> it's it's called the Paw Father. The Paw oh. Father. <laughs> Yeah, so I tried to just cat, put the, but... the last answer to the one that we have the blank. Okay. 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 All right, Kevin. Okay. Number one, Altamont Speedway is the location of a big free festival of music that ended with a guy getting stabbed and all kinds of stuff. Sang about in the in the song American Pie. The answer is H. Rolling Stone magazine wrote the rock and roll's all time worst day. Okay. Everything went wrong. So one is H. Say, no, please say both the letter and the number. One so H. We can, yep. One H. Yep. Two J. CBGB yes. is, a, is a New York City club. There's a nice documentary on Netflix about it where all the punk rock bands played. 2J, Talking Heads, Blondie, and the police played there. The what? Number three is I, the song lyric from Billy Joel. They were all impressed with the Halston dress and the people that you knew, Eddie Lane's. Mm -hmm. Number four 
is A, Dylan Goes Electric at the Newport Folk Festival. Number five, I heard somebody say it was not the current place. It was the place. It's no longer the place. Five, Ryman Auditorium is the original site of the Grand Ole Opry. It's yes, not and, held there anymore. And when I, but when I no, except when the Grand Ole Opry is close to renovations, which it was when I went, and I got to see the performance. When was at that? The, the Ryman Auditorium. Oh, when? it had to, be, had to be like 20 years ago. Right. So I was there two years five. ago, and the Ryman Auditorium is not used for the Grand Ole Opry anymore. So five so is what? F. F? F? Five is F. Okay. <clears throat> Station nightclub fire, six is K. Warwick, Rhode Island, 100 people died in the fire. Some of my friends were there. Really? Wow. Did they die? Uh... Yep. Six I. <gasps> Studio oh. 54. Good job, James. Studio 54 is famous for disco, drugs, celebrate celebrities like Andy Wall, John Belushi, Truman Capote, and on and on. That is B. Six B. I'm sorry, seven B. The Troubadour. Eight is G. Yes. That's where Reginald Dwight, also known as Elton John, yes. became an yes. overnight sensation. That was the only one I knew. <laughs> <laughs> now, this one probably nobody got, unless you got it by elimination. The Triad Theater, I was just there last week, is Lady Gaga's first yes. appeared on stage at this New York location. So what, 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 what? That is 9D. 9D. Ten, yeah, we did get it through elimination. <laughs> yep. 10 Viper Room is the mm -hmm. place that River Phoenix died right outside. He left the right. place and died last night for River. So 10 is E. And 11 is C, Whiskey A Go Go, Sunset Boulevard. Good job, team. Go team. I, I suspect some tens, I suspect some fives. And, 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 11. and by team, 11. I mostly mean all Mike. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know anything. All right, so let's go Mafia Cats. Where are you at? 10. 11. Or 11. <laughs> you only can all get right. 10. Good job, Mafia. No, we, we got 11. We got all I of know, them. I know, but you only can count 10. You only oh, count 10. poo. We're behind. <laughs> we demand a recount. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We you expect to be reinstated to first place by August. <laughs> We're still oh, eight. trying to. Eight. Eight? Eight. Eight. Okay. Um, the Headless Birds from Gail's Yard. Eleven. Ben. Ed. Eleven. Right. Eleven. The <laughs> elementary quantum of corn. Three. What? Three. That's all we got. And chicken shit bingo, which is what the elementary quantum of corn thinks right of themselves. <laughs> chicken shit bingo. Would you get? Eleven. <laughs> wow. We wow. dialed it up to 11. Wow. Who was on that elementary one that didn't know their... When I heard yeah. some of the groups talking, I knew right away they were going to narrow it down pretty quick. Jeffrey. He knows his games, but he doesn't know his music venues. As I said, my household was classical music and NPR, and that's all we ever listened to. Should have had the rhyme and oh, Smooth right. jazz. And even then, I couldn't tell you any smooth jazz musicians because it was NPR. Well, you needed to have, to, you needed to have uh, um, you have to, now you know where your, your education is lacking, is you needed. <laughs> we're, well, out of la we've, we're out of last place, Mafia Cats. Yes. We were in, we were tied for first place. That sure isn't the case anymore. Chicken shit, bingo. Well, my team scored 10, and I didn't help them at all. Yeah, it's true. That's... I have a recording showing that you didn't help us at all. I can't believe I, I missed Altamont, man. Of course I knew that. Oh. I'm shocked. Listen, listen to the last chorus in uh, American Pie. Yeah, I'll yeah. No, yeah. I know. Yeah, that's where they Hell's hired, Angels, like, um, No Angel Hell's Born in Hell. Is, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yes. I can't it's the Satan American spell. Pie. It's 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 um, Mick Jagger singing Sympathy to the Devil. It's the pressure, the pressure of the game. <laughs> okay, Mono's up next. All right, Mono, what you got? 
Okay, so get a nice, well-rounded game tonight. <laughs> so the category is uh, the Bible. All right. Oh. And since skeptics tend to know more about the Bible than believers, <laughs> I'm skeptics. I'm hoping for high scores here. Mm. Glad All right. Because we Something just did I might have a last chance. Week, didn't we? Yeah, as is often the case with Bible stories, there's a lot of sex and violence. So anyway. <laughs> Darn. All right, first one. Uh, which prophet in response to We need to, to God... be muted. Oh, okay. Sorry, that's on me. Muting everybody in three, two, one. Which prophet in response to God asking, whom shall I send and who will go for us, replied, here am I, send me. Uh, two, what were the names of Noah's three sons? Three. Can we just know one of them? Oh, just in time, Leonard's showing up. The man who's going to go, I don't know. <laughs> Leonard in the Bible. We, we lost Avi, so, you know, we'll, we'll take someone. Yeah, hi, Leonard. And we got a three, so that should also. Uh, yeah. Leonard's going to be thrilled. Ask for help, too. All right. In the, should I give the third one? Yeah, uh, but on the second one, you've got three answers. Can we give just one? Because we only I'll, have I'll one. Except two out of the three. I, I, he cut off. What, what was that, Mano? Uh, two out of three would be acceptable. Just Curly and Larry's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would be the easiest one. Okay. Okay. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Okay, in the book of Daniel, there is a story of a massive feast that is given by King Belshazzar, during which something happens that so frightens the king that he summons Daniel to decipher its meaning. Daniel says that it predicts that the king's days are numbered and the king was killed that same night. What so alarmed the king has become the basis of an idiomatic expression that for suggests a foreshadowing of doom or misfortune. What is the expression? Number four, what was the name of the town where Lot lived before he was forced to flee with his wife and daughters after an angry mob of men from the town demanded that he give up, give up to them the two angels who were in his home so that they could rape them? Yeah, but he was nice enough to offer his daughters instead. I know. And that, I mean, that doesn't end the, the, man, the crazy things don't end there. I mean, that's story would be too much for even today's reality TV. Oh, absolutely. All right. The next one, there is a story of Jesus removing evil spirits from either one or two men possessed by demons. The details differ in the accounts given by Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And sending those demons into swine that resulted in those animals rushing into a body of water and drowning. According to Mark, approximately how many swine did Jesus send the demonic spirits into? So it's a multiple choice. You have the choice of 2, 20, 200, or 2,000. OK, number six. What kind of tree did Jesus curse because it had no fruit for him so that it shriveled up and would not bear any more fruit? Seven, what was the name of Moses' brother? Eight, what was the name of the person whose ass spoke? 
Now, in King James's Bible, ass means donkey, not a wee little. <laughs> Jim Carrey? Huh? We're talking about farting. J Jim no. Carrey? <laughs> oh, you just ruined the story for me. <laughs> All right. Who was the prophet who became so angry when some children teased him for being bald by calling him baldy that he cursed them so that two bears came out of the woods and mauled 42 of them? That would probably be me. <laughs> 42? It was really 42? Wow. That's yeah. Prophetic. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Magic word. Magic number. So that's that, where that Douglas Adams got it. Girl at the, that, that that's what I'm wondering. It's like that was an actual prophecy. How come I never hear that one mentioned as prophetic? But Deborah, Deborah said what? Oh, those those kids needed that girl that that punched that oh, push, bear right off the wall. The bear off the ledge. Yeah. Yeah. So Jezebel was the wife of Ahab, King Ahab, King of Israel. She introduced Baal worship, ordered Ahab to kill the prophets mm -hmm. of Yahweh, and falsely accused someone of blasphemy in order to obtain his property. As a result of her evil acts, she has become the archetype of a wicked woman. How did she die? Well, this is this is definitely different from the other categories. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Mono. Thank you, Mono. Do we have any other <laughs> questions? Anybody have questions for me? All right, let's make ourselves let's make ourselves proud that we, we should know these answers. <laughs> Leonard's here. Hello, Leonard. Hi. Just in time for the questions about the Bible. I knew you well, were thrilled. especially ones about the New Testament. I know well, they're mostly all Old Testament. So yeah, you're, I, you're, you're I, good. You're I good. well, I wouldn't go that far. Okay, so I'm putting you on the team with the lowest score. Uh well, I can't hurt them too badly. <laughs> They will be happy to see you. So I'm going to Mafia Cats. So, and you know, I didn't get um, indoctrinated. I mean, I didn't get didn't indoctrinated. Get yeah, not indoctrinated, but I didn't hear the stories. Ah, okay. So, um, and I know a few from who's our biblical know, star in this room. Since I, since I became an atheist, then. Hi. Uh, so well, Susan, I how do I, I don't have the option of going to other rooms. Let's see. You should be able to hit breakout rooms. And yeah. then if you look at the room, if you hover your mouse over the room and go to the right, it should say join. Where is the breakout room icon? It should be on your bar on the bottom. So if you hit no, either it's not there. breakout rooms or if you hit more. Yeah, be, previously it was there. Today I, it's not there for me. Hmm. Did you get powers? Let's see. Um, it doesn't look like you have powers, Susan. Forgot okay, to I thought I had given him the power. Yeah, I felt I rather weak. You can stay here and listen to, to Wilma run the table. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got this. Let's hear it. Yeah, I want to hear Wilma run the table here. Okay, what, um, am I, what am I going to do with Mono here? How do I get him to get out of the room? To How do I get to, powers? When to he, oh, don't worry about it. I'll just keep quiet and wait here. No, because it would be... Wait, let me see. Uh, well, there, isn't there a thing that says leave room on the bottom right that Mono... Yeah, but won't he, like, leave the whole game if he does that? No, no I'll just leave the room. No, let's go back. This to is a breakout game. room. Susan, oh, there you go. Why don't you, Susan, why don't you both leave and you can, you'll be in the main room. And then okay, Mono, let's leave the room. Susan, okay. wait. What? If you hit participants, you should be able to just make him a host from there. No, I can't. I really? It, it's, uh, I hit more and it won't let me do it. Okay, hold on. In breakout room, it says you can, you have been assigned. I, I can only join break Mafia Cats. You should be able to move anywhere you went now. Okay. All oh, right. Now I get it. Now I've got the powers. Okay. Thank you. I got the power. <laughs> okay. Now right. how do I get back to? Oh, good. Break our rooms. Mafia cats. You guys are so funny. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Okay. Because it was mina mina take a whatever. Your days are numbered basically. So where are you guys at? 
Um, Do you my... happen to know number one, Susan? Let me look at it again. Grendel Lopry. Oh, no, sorry. Which prophet, in response to God asking, Whom shall I send and who will go for us, replied, Here am I, send me. So it was Old Testament. Yeah. I remember the line, but I don't know who it was. For some reason, I want to say Samuel, but I, 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 it doesn't feel right. Nothing's well, let's put Samuel and go back through it. Okay, so what the sons of Noah are Shem, Ham, Japheth. We got okay. we got two and three. We're at four, and this is Sodom. What was right. three? Oh, I did know that one. Uh, uh, writing, writing on, on the, the wall. wall. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, and then the other one was Sodom because there's Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. Right. Um, this one's next one is pig, how many right? swine? How many I'm, swine? I don't think it was 2,000. I think it was 200. It was, certainly wasn't two. So it's either 20 or 200, and I think it's 200. That sounds right to me. Now, number six, this is an odd one because- It's a fig tree. A fig I tree. thought it was a fig tree, but fig yeah. trees have been, do produce fruit. So I thought that if you cursed well, it, it would just all- had, It just wasn't right then. You know, like all fruit trees have- You wanted a fig and there were no figs. What That's right. But so, my point so it was is, cursed I forever. cursed it. And then that's the reason why that tree never produces real fruit anymore. Oh, I yeah. thought he was just yelling at it, like, fuck you, you fig tree. Oh, <laughs> well, no, no, he, he cursed it and it just kind of shriveled up and died. And I see, so fruit. it was never going to fig again. Yeah. And what was Moses' brother's name? Joshua. That's Aaron. Aaron. A-A-R-O-N. Correct. Things are starting to come back to me now. What was the name of the person whose ass spoke? This one I'm not positive. It's either Isaiah or his fault. His the next one. Um, and Esau? so, sorry, Isa isn't that the no 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 Isa is Cain Cain's brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's Isaiah and then his, the next prophet, whose sandals he wasn't. Yeah, there's a there's a thing like he handed over the power to the next guy, and I can't remember the name of him. I would go with your first thought, Isaiah. Isaiah, I think it's I was wrong. Going, I was going with Eddie Murphy. But... <laughs> <laughs> that would have been more fun. Yeah. Okay, who is the prophet who became so angry some children teased him and he ended up... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the answer for number nine is Isaiah. Oh, okay. That's the prophet. The wow. guy with the ass is Balaam. Oh my God, Wilma, you're like a superstar. This no. Guy. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, she knows this stuff. I've clearly. never you played trivia these. with us long enough. There will someday be a category that you are. The well, I, 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 played here. I think it just worked out perfectly today because Mano knows that I just left all of this stuff and he put this category in for me. Just yeah. for oh, so you're you're a recent convert to our. Religion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was I was like a young earther creationist. Wow. Believing so what what three years what, ago. Um, what was your tipping point? Oh, good Lord. <laughs> um, abuse. I was, this, done, I was done with being abused. Oh, we're recording. Okay. All good. Okay. Now the world knows. All right. <laughs> How did Jezebel die? Oof. I think she was pushed off a wall, but I'm not sure. Oh, she wasn't stoned? And then they just stone everybody back then? They did, but that was as a, like actually like a capital punishment kind of thing. Yeah. Right. I think like the dogs, I think she fell off or pushed off a wall and the dogs ate her she body and that was her punishment. Hmm. The, like the bear being pushed off the wall? Yeah, like yeah, that. I think it was like that. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Bear attacking a dog and trying to scoop up the dog. And, um... well, Does that anybody was know the dog. name of the prophet after Isaiah? And it's not Jeremiah. There's, I think it starts with a J though. Are we talking about here I am, send me? Here am I? We're talking about the two bears. Number oh, nine. Okay. Um, yeah, the two bears. The two and bears it's... and the 42 children who got mauled. Man, those bears did a lot of damage if there was only two bears. and they Elisha. Got it's bears. Elisha. 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 It's Elisha. And well, I was, I was wrong. Nine. Isaiah wasn't right either. It was Elijah and then there's Elisha. That's the thing. Elisha. Elisha. Okay. Cool. And so we, the only one we have left is number one. Right. And nothing rings a bell. 
Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Here am I, send me. Who I send and who will go for us? If I hear it's in a prophet. Him, send me. We'll name some prophets that we didn't do already. Like was was Hosea, Jeremiah a prophet? Ezekiel. Daniel's not a prophet. Hosea, Nehemiah, Malachi. Here am I. Send me. I should know this. <laughs> well, it's okay that you've forgotten some of this stuff. That's that's. What <laughs> I'm trying to replace it. <laughs> You're keeping us. Out that's of why I'm place. here. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna stay out of last place because of you, Wilma. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's right. Well, I don't know. There's gonna be more people that know this stuff. Uh, I'm not Karen so sure about that. It. Karen might know some of it. Karen? Yeah, she's got a lot of pretty interesting different things that she knows about. Um, I would say that. It's not Samuel. No, do, do I you know think it's not Jeremiah. Samuel. How about Jeremiah? Caspian's going to be like, I didn't know anything this whole game. He's uh, like, you didn't know the video know game? Samuel. Not a one. Really? Played any of them. Yeah. He wouldn't have, Casey wouldn't have helped it either because they, they were after, most of them were after he stopped playing. What, Bob, what about Bob would know some of these. What about Jeremiah? He was a bullfrog. <laughs> <laughs> um it's so not samuel it's gonna be, i think this is going to be around that's just about us is the only ones that got it maybe faith would know some i don't know but bob will know some but i don't think anybody else is going to know Where these I send me? so daniel we, we, is could just, the, we could just pick one like name a prophet any prophet the only the only person i Mono, i'm know. stuck on number one but thank you you're the best <laughs> i love you how's everybody else doing Mono? how about hosea I think, I think they're pretty much done we can go back Let's let's try Hosea. Actually, we, we want number, we want something for number one. So she's got it. We, we're going with Hosea. Okay. Good job, Wilma. I'm just going to keep thinking yeah. though. Don't don't yes. leave yet. I need to. I need to. Okay. It doesn't feel right. I'll okay. handle the rock and roll. Yes. You can handle the Bible. Just text <laughs> Bob. <and> it's good. <laughs> I. Jeremiah sent me. Mano, I'm stuck. <laughs> But you got the other nine, no? Oh. Yeah. Pretty, pretty sure. I think she does. Oh my yeah. God. She does. Oh, she I don't does. think anybody else is going to do well in this. <laughs> what did you hear? Oh, oh, there's another group that claims that they got all. Oh, really? Uh, see, there you go. In? Is it the Bob group? Here am I, send me. Yes. Yeah, because he's a recent, he recently. So Daniel all. isn't a prophet, huh? No. No, okay. The only prophet I know of is Muhammad, and I don't think that's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try Hosea. Oh my God, he didn't work. I'm so proud. Wait, what is that behind you, Peggy? That is too creepy looking. What the hell is that? Dallas! <laughs> Dallas! Dallas! That's oh. one of the kittens. Liver treat! Liver treat! Dallas! Walkies? Walkies? Let's go poop on. Pebble Beach. <laughs> Wilma, how'd you do in this one? Dallas, get the cat. Get the Wilma cat. Wilma did great. She's got, she got at least nine. Ooh. She would have 10, but know. she just couldn't quite remember. She knows too many freaking prophets. Oh. <laughs> She's trying to narrow it down to one. Classic problem. <laughs> At, at the end of our round, we're just like, just call out a prophet. Just say a prophet. And we'll write it down. Did Bob, was Bob the ringer in the other group? Yeah. Yeah. I said, well, Wilma and Bob probably are going to score like everything. So, so, so I like, should have we'll been ha having gone to Catholic school for 12 freaking years, but no. we, didn't, we didn't cover those stories. No, uh, I, I knew all a couple that Old Testament stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's all new, you know, new, new covenant. Now we don't care about that crap. Doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. I was, so. I was telling our team that I had to forget all that to make room for Star Trek episodes. I would be old and with the new. Well, poor Caspian, he's like, Probably going. I think I'll just go bake a cake or something. Right. Pie. Now. Make pie, pie. Make more pie. More pie. More pie. Pie. More pie. pie. Make more pie. 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 He's pie. the pie meister. Shows up. Uh, I went to pie. Pie. Yeah. 
Quantum Pi. All right, Mono, you're up. Okay, so the first one, who said, uh, who am I? Who will go for me and uh, who will go for us? It was the prophet Isaiah. No, Bob. Oh, crap. <laughs> Good. Yeah. We could, uh, we were. Bob, who happy. did you think? Pride goeth before a fall, the fall. <laughs> Samuel, he, he heard, now he heard call, God call his name and said, Here am I, Lord. And I confused that. Okay. That's my. Uh, that was Samuel. Uh, Noah's yeah. three sons. Actually, I thought this would be easy, but anyway, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Oh. Yes. Later on, it was Ham, Shem, and Shem with Curly Joe Dorita. Ham, <laughs> Shem, and I wouldn't have remember. I remember Ham. Snap, yeah. crackle, and pop. Yeah, we that's the one we remember. And would later on to go make a, a relatively popular low cost beer called Hams. Mm. I vote that we change that to as long as you got one of the three, you get that question. <laughs> <laughs> two, Originally, two. my question was who are the three people who were put into a furnace for not worshiping Bill and didn't die oh, because of their faith in God? I know that. that Jack and Jack and and a big um, yeah, but then I thought that would be too difficult. And <laughs> never even heard that one. Yeah, I Daniel's oh, yeah. friends. Jack, Meshach, and Abednego. You know the famous guys. All right. There was there was a song. If yep. you knew the song, then you remembered that one. Yep. Oh, Louis Armstrong. Oh, it's great. <laughs> yeah, it so the Louis Armstrong version of it. Yeah. Hansel and Gretel. The expression, the idiomatic expression, is the writing on the wall. Yay, I would oh, never have we got that. one. Yay. Yeah, I and thought the it was story, a sword of Damocles or something. And what what happened? To so the, so the, during this feast, a disembodied hand appeared and writes four words on the palace wall foretelling the king's demise and the breakup of his kingdom. And the king died that night. So the writing on the wall has become a, sign, a symbol of our saying to show that something bad is going to happen pretty soon. What is What were the four words? The four words were mene, mene, tekel, upashin. And Daniel was the only one who could figure out what the hell that meant. And what did it mean? What did it mean? Well, it, it said that, you know, you're going to die. And it, it's complicated. But basically, you're going to die. You're, you're going to lose your kingdom. And you're going to basically be in big trouble. I think it's got to do with the your, your acts have been weighed in God's yes. way scale. Yeah, yeah exactly. All that from four words? I know. So it took a prophet to figure that out. Are the most why the didn't other... why why didn't he just like speak like you're up shit's creek? You know something clear. <laughs> well, yeah. It's not very prophet like. So in fact, that's what happened. So the people who were there, the prophets couldn't, and then some. He, uh, Belshazzar's wife said, "Call Daniel. He knows all this stuff." And they called Daniel, and he came and read it out, and explained what it meant. Like, and why did they have to be thing? prayed to God for illumination? Of yes. course. And why? And how did the king die? Did he die of like a heart attack or something? Uh, because he knew he was going to go. The needs, the I don't needs know. I, I think he just died, right? He was killed. The hands kill strangled him. It was the per, Medes. The, the, thing Medes, the Medes invaded. The Medes conquered the city that night. Yeah, that's right. I think. Something oh, like okay. So. He was assassinated or something. Though. So, yeah. so I don't think they do it much anymore. But mediums used to do this stuff about, like, you know, spirit writing. So I guess it, it, they got the idea from this, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, right, writing. And somebody I think sometimes it actually did it happen the on the wall. Somebody wrote on the wall, and people didn't notice it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. then they said it just appeared. Yeah. And I think they I say, like, you it. know, for a good time, call somebody. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. Four. Jenny, eight six seven five three zero nine. Eight six seven five three zero nine. Now that one I know. So the town where Lot lived was Sodom. Sodom. Yeah. And what was Gomorrah? Was that the city near it? Yeah. Good city. It was like Minneapolis and St. Paul. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's so weird though. When they named that town, they didn't realize it was named like a sex act. Why? Why would they use that name? <laughs> Seems like they were asking for it. I, I know. Well, it's like naming a town, you, you know, intercourse or blue balls. Like, who would do that? Oh, Pennsylvania. You know what sorry. the townspeople wanted to do with his guests? That's why they got that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. They just that's wanted to meet them. 
Mm-hmm. The sign yeah. on the way in said it. I'm... Anyway. Well, they they just they <laughs> wanted they wanted to get to know them. Yeah, yeah just yeah. Say hi. biblically, biblically. And even though a lot of her, and the story is pretty weird. Lot offered his two <laughs> daughters who were yeah, that's, the that that really kind of a, pissed me off when I first realized that. And the, the and apparently the daughters were betrothed to two men who were part of the mob that wanted to rape these other two men. <laughs> I mean, if you can imagine. Go figure. And the audacity <laughs> of the mother. I'm glad she got what she got. Everyone knows about Lot's wife, right? That she turned into yeah. a girl. And yeah. I'm sure you know about the daughters getting their father drunk so that they uh-huh. don't take yeah. But but interestingly, as a, as a Catholic, end. I never heard any part of that story except for the the wife turning into a pillar of salt. Yeah, but, yeah. but the wife was the salt of the earth. She was okay. Oh. <laughs> Mono, Mono, what, what did the wife do? The wife got the, somebody drunk? No, 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 no. Oh, the the Lot, Lot and his, the angels told Lot and his wife and his two daughters to escape. They took them out of the house by magic and put them somewhere where they could escape. But for some reason, the angels said, Go away, do not look back. But right, Lot's right. wife looked back and she was immediately turned into a pillar of salt, which seems kind of over, I mean, going a little too much, right? I mean, there's that saying, back. you know, take it with a grain of salt. So you just say, take away the grain of Lot's wife. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think the story was that Lot's wife was, she was thinking of the, of the, times there you know it wasn't i mean if the place is blowing up thinking. i'm going to turn around and look and see what's going on behind me she was thinking that was her sin oh, and yeah. the daughters thought that the world was ending and for some reason they thought hey we need better to better impregnate dad so get pregnant goes, from dad yeah from that point on lots the driveway was night. never slippery in the winter yeah, but then the daughter <laughs> so, so they have this plan and they get the one daughter gets the father drunk and has sex with him oh yeah, so he says he doesn't know that it's his daughter. Then the next night, the other daughter gets the father drunk and has sex with him. And I'm kind of getting suspicious of the father at this point. Yeah. <laughs> oh. right, I mean, that's just the, the world of nice, over. Who's, nice. I mean, at least that's, that's what the court maybe. document said happened. And, 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 you know, that's pretty suspicious whenever they think the world's over and there's nobody else alive. Oh, it wasn't just the world. No, no, it was just two towns. Just two towns. And, no, and the they father didn't know, they didn't know the whole world. It's just his daughters. There's nobody else. So who's he having sex with? It's just the two towns. But they don't have the internet. It's the whole world as far as they know. They didn't have like a Jeep Wrangler or anything either. So they pretty much were stuck. <laughs> it's a it. stupid, horrible, horrible story. Yeah. Go ahead, Mono. Okay, number five. The number of pigs that went were 2,000. Oh, nice. Oh, we got one wrong. Dang. Yeah, it's hard to believe that they killed 2,000 pigs, but anyway. That's a lot of pigs. But I, I said the Catholic Church has really like fallen down on this because when they exercise a, a demon, and there's only one in a person. Tyler, over there. <laughs> what do they leave in the 1900s still in there, 1999? I don't understand. My name is Legion, for we are many. Yeah, I don't understand. It's expensive. Yep. Uh, so number six, it was a fig tree. Yes. Hey. Yeah, that, that. Yeah. Go Wilma. Yeah, go Wilma. Oddly enough, for this story, Mark says that figs were not even in season at that time. So the tree could not have been expected to bear any fruit. So either Jesus was not familiar with the growing seasons or he was having a really bad day. <laughs> he, he was always out, you know, fishing with the disciples. So he was never in class. So, <laughs> or, it would, or it never happened. He missed the horticulture class. Yeah. Or it didn't ever That's happen. More or it's completely made up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, likely. Yeah. Oh, come on, Carl, don't be silly. <laughs> so Moses's brother, Aaron. Yep. Yee-hoo. I remembered how to spell it. <laughs> As we call him A A Ron. A Ron. Yeah. We, we said That's Moses had a stutter, so he said A A Ron. A A Ron. Ron. A A Ron. So number eight. Nice. Uh, number eight. It was Balaam. Yay. Uh, and there is no evidence that this story is the source of the idiomatic expression of talking out of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> up, All right, then. Um, Wait, well, what did the ass say for those not, those not from okay. Post it in the chat. And let me show you something. <laughs> well, what, what happened was Elisha was told to go somewhere and he was going with his ass and the 
two angels appeared to block his path, but for some reason, Elisha didn't see them, but the ass saw them. Balaam, not Elisha, Balaam. Balaam, sorry. Uh, Balaam, uh, the ass lay down and refused to go forward and Balaam kept beating him and this happened two or three times and finally at the third time, Rilma, correct me, on the third time, Balaam, the ass looked at Balaam and said, why, have, why are you beating me? And at that point, the angels removed the scales from Balaam's eyes and he could see the angels in front who were telling him not to go that way. Am I right? With, yeah, with the, the angel was there to kill him with a sword or something. Right. And that's where the expression, the uh, move your ass comes from. <laughs> Beat your ass, move your ass, pull it yeah. out Can of you your put ass. that in the chat like you've been doing? Because I like that you've got the. Well, I put the reference in the, number, the book of numbers. Okay, well, you mean, it's not in the chat. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, let me put uh, hit that. Thank you. All right. Nine, the bears. The bears. The they bears. got pushed off a wall. <laughs> the bulls, the bears. So the prophet was Elisha. Yeah. Very good. Or Titka. So this is a pretty awful story. For... No kidding. No. <laughs> oh, not... <laughs> I can't believe the Bible has bad stories. So I was curious kids, uh, about, Jesus you know, uh, I went to answers in Genesis, you know, the ark people can have oh, yeah. to ask how they got around this. And this is what they said, uh, how they explained away this pretty awful action by God's prophet. They say, in summary, we have plenty of internally consistent biblical ev evidence that <laughs> the events of that day in Bethel involved an unprovoked verbal assault by a group of young hoodlums. Uh -huh. Perhaps they were glad to be rid of one man telling them what God said they shouldn't do and because they didn't want another one. They were old enough to know better and they were challenging the credibility of God's prophet, the only man who was there to stand up for God's truth, bringing the word of life to a corrupt nation that had turned its back on God. Now, there's nothing in the biblical story about all that. It was just that Elisha got pissed off that these kids were teasing him and he set the bears on them. 42. 42. Well, that's Horrible. the most interesting part of it. That's what I yeah. thought. 42. Talk, talk about using a sledgehammer on a fly. Yeah. Right. You go and learn today. What a jackass. And then and literally, the, the thing is, how many people will argue? Not only do they believe this, it's not metaphor, it's not myth, it's not poetry, that literally every word is true is oh, but, but that's what Mano was saying and they're they're justifying it as actually being a good thing a yep. valid moral thing that god and his prophet did yep. that 42 children were mocking this one man. it's not 42. like you're ever allowed to choose whether it's moral or not you're told that it is moral so everything else has to fit that it's not right. like uh, do you right. think this is moral no Re remember is that the reason that Trump this is, is going moral, to be president in, in august exactly it, it's not a crime. If you're the president, it's not a crime. These are people who are willing to believe this. Just believe authority. Well, like also people have an incredible ability to rationalize. Yes. Like human beings as a, as a species. We can rationalize all kinds of things that don't make any sense at all. Yeah, yeah especially if you're raised to believe something and told it by authority figures during your formative learning. Yeah. Right. Rationalization and motivated reasoning get you a lot of the way. It's true. Come on, our number 10. Okay. Uh, she was thrown out of a window. She was then trampled by horses and her body was eaten. Oh my by God. Yes. Do we have yes. to oh, say that? Whole, that? No, so by dogs it, enough. It's not clear no. which. So I would accept any one of those three. The dogs. The dogs did it. She was we get two points, pushed out a window and eaten by dogs. Yes. yes. And being pushed out of a window and dying from it is called, called being defenestrated. Yeah, defenestrated. Defenestration. The what? Defenestration. Yes. What? So defenestration. Being thrown out of a window, window has an actual name, defenestration. Being thrown out of a window? Yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 Why? And dying from, from the So does defenestration mean so. something? From the Fenetre French word bad. for. Uh, Fenetre. Yeah. Fenetre. Well, it actually German comes from fenster, the latter window. Winter is window. Yeah. She's the fenster. Like a laugh. Wow. <laughs> so any one windows? of those. Is that I'm not sure. It's not clear. Most scholars <laughs> seem to think Frog? that it was the 
throwing out of the window that killed her, but it's not, I, I would accept any one of those three, thrown out of the window, <laughs> trampled by horses or eaten by dogs. Was there like a pathologist or a the coroner tower. there to determine the cause of death? <laughs> no, there wasn't a coroner. <laughs> no. Was there a Rasputin situation? It was just an inquisition. Uh, oh, by right the way, the person who ordered her death was again, our old friend, Elisha. So uh -huh. with the one with the bears. So basically, you did not want to get on the wrong side of Elisha. <laughs> I'm that way. Safer just to not to know him. Or certain bald <laughs> people. <laughs> Mono, how do you know so much about Krishna? Thank you, Mono. I didn't know you I, I used to be an ordained lay minister in the Methodist Church. Oh. <laughs> I had to study the Bible, the Old Testament, New Testament, the whole thing. Oh, I didn't know this. This is interesting. <laughs> I'm learning a lot tonight. All right, let's get to our scores in our final round. Very good, Mono. I think, let's see how well the atheists did here. <laughs> I have Mono's to find out, when did Mono deconvert? I I am somewhat late in life. I, I was not smart enough to see figure things out early. It was about when I was about 30, 35. Were I, you still a minister? No, I stopped being a minister and spent at the, at the age of about... Uh, 28, and then struggled for about seven to 10 years trying to reconcile my religious beliefs mm. with my scientific beliefs. And at around the age of 35, I said, the hell with it. I can't reconcile it. I have to choose one or the other. And I mm. gave up God. Literally and... to hell with it. If you're it. still struggling, Rob really? can help you out. I'm sorry, what? If you're still struggling, Rob can help you out. <laughs> oh, no, I stopped struggling a long time ago, but um, it was not an easy uh, decision. It was yeah. not we, we get a lot of calls. Like I've got uh, two calls in three days from the same person who's, you know, a year ago decided he doesn't believe it, but he still can't get himself out because he's he's afraid he's making a mistake and what if hell is real and you know, yep. Yeah. Takes some people a very long time. Actually, for me, not I giving up was easy. Uh, telling my mother was hard. Yeah, that's like, the other calls actually... we get, people dealing with family. Yep. Right. Yeah, I, I could never, I couldn't get around to telling my mother that I had stopped believing and I didn't actually, but she was in Sri Lanka and she didn't use the internet. I told him uh -huh. the story. She was in Sri Lanka, didn't use the internet. I was in the US. I was writing about it on my blog. So I thought she'd never, she would never find out. And whenever I visited her, we never talked about it. Yeah. So it was only after she died that I told my sister, whom my mother was living with my sister. I said, you know, I never told my mother that I was an atheist. I wonder how she would have reacted. And my sister said, oh, she knew all along. <laughs> oh, wow. My sister oh, had been printing out my blog posts and giving it to her to read. No and way. I said, so I said, then what did she say? And she said, oh, she just laughed and said, oh, Mano is a scientist. So, oh, like, you worried for nothing. All that science. Yeah. I, I have a family member that I've had discussions with, and I have gotten a sense from her that she believes more out of fear than anything. It's more the, mm -hmm. like what we've just hinted upon of the, what about hell being real? Not more the good side of it, just the, I don't want to go to hell, so I'm going to believe out of fear. Oh, Is that a blood relative or an in-law? An in-law. Okay, I don't we've know. We've had that discussion yeah. before, yeah. Carl. They, they've coined a name for this, a religious trauma syndrome, by the way. It's like PTSD. All right, scores all. Let's see how we did. So let's start with um, the elementary quantum of corn. Five. Woo. Five, right in the middle. So then go to Mafia Cats. Eight. Good job, Mafia Cats. And we expect- I thought we had seven. I thought, we, I thought Mafia Cats had seven. We missed Jezebel. Wow. And and the pigs and the oh, pigs, but and also we said Hosea at the beginning. Not we didn't either. miss. We didn't miss Jezebel. We got the eaten yeah, by dogs. Oh, oh the did. eaten by dogs. Okay, eight. All right. All right. All right. What an honest team we are. Bunch of atheists. Can you imagine? <laughs> what we? we Where do you get your morality from? If not from the Bible, that good book <laughs> with all those good We're, stories. We expect all out the bears. Bring on the bears. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be murdering everyone if you know we're well, atheists. We're well, we have to too. take a night off from time to time. That's true. <laughs> well, we rape and murder as often as we want. Which is <laughs> not at all. Not much. Right. Yeah. All right. We expect to be reinstated by first place by August. Eight. Eight. Good job. Wow. Um, 
who was the ringer on on that team? We fi <laughs> we figured it out by it was a, pretty, hard it was work. a team effort. Although okay. I did yeah. go to Lutheran school from kindergarten through senior year of high school. Okay, so and I'm a Unitarian uh, Universalist, so so studying the scriptures uh, is part of our study, as well as well as sources of science and. Uh, Deborah said that you would probably know a lot of these. She says, "Yeah, that world religion, a lot of things in, in the religion area." Okay, the headless birds from Gail's yard. We got nine. nine. Wow. Whoa. I I blew one. Oh, which, which wow. one? that's okay. We forgive you. Stuck in a corner. A similar. Samuel said, "Here am I, Lord." Oh. Isaiah, I forgot that Isaiah said, "Yeah, okay." All right, chicken chip bingo. You were in the lead. Are you still in the lead? Perfect ten. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> With no help from me, but wow, what a who team. was the ringer in your group? Uh, there was a couple. Ramiro. Well, yeah, Ramirez, former Pentecostal. So, all right, everyone but me was a ringer in my group. <laughs> <laughs> so it was Romero, and who was the other one? Paul and Former Israel. Missouri Synod Lutheran, right here. Oh, yeah, Kyle. Missouri Synod. Peggy, Peggy Peggy North went to Catholic school, so Peggy should know. Although I, there was a comment on our team that Catholics don't no, learn all Catholics that stuff. No, like God. I told you, no, we never heard most of those stories. No, yeah. we had the Baltimore Catechism. We did not need your stupid Bible. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> right. Well, Chicken Chad Bingo is three. still in the lead with 33. And we're still in last place. Wow, good job, guys. Okay, so Peggy, here we are. Are you gonna round us up with some really good stuff? Susan, Susan, before we do that, can I share a cartoon? Sure. I think that it's so appropriate for this topic. It's a grammar cartoon, but it's about, is it being shared? Yeah. yeah. Here's a look from my can you see it? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that's great very good <laughs> that darn comma it's you every time very so, important and so that's not from the quran because in the quran it's his other son not isaac ah well yeah it's but what very... because he didn't put the comma in so isaac wouldn't go <laughs> yeah. smart kid that's awesome that's funny Let's eat grandma. <laughs> Each shoots. I actually eat. have to head out and head to bed. I don't, I'm on three hours of sleep. So oh, cool. Was that, a, was that a shark? It's a surfish. Surfish. It's her new it's authority. Authority. Right. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, Sorry. Wow. I wasn't up oh, cool. long enough. Oh, that's Very awesome. Good. Wow. Good job. Hammerhead. Good night, kitty parents. Well, Julie's going to stay on to help. All right. Oh, all right. Thank you. Hey. Come on, Julie. Here we go. She gets uh, to sit in the good chair. She's in the good chair. <laughs> like the pilot's chair or something. No, she she's has gonna be power. drunk with power. Mm. All right, Julie, no pressure or anything. Start Let's cackling like the emperor. But you guys are in last place. <laughs> so, Peggy, what you yeah. got? Okay, so today's category is the top 10 deadliest animals to humans as measured by the numbers of fatalities that they cause. Is there a certain year? Nope. So all of history? No, just recently. Think recent. Recently. This is a Wikipedia and they, they called from CNET and a couple of other places who they mm. called for. Um, do we do we count miracles when God forces animals out of the woods to kill people who are making fun of both people? Wine and bears. And... <laughs> she said recently. Okay. Uh, uh, how specific? Uh, so relative. Is it any means of death? Yes. Um. Okay. The the topic is top ten deadliest animals to humans, as measured by numbers of fatalities caused. This All is right. not. This is not like your box jellyfish. Even though it's really poisonous and, and horrible, you wouldn't want to meet one because they don't meet enough people. Um, is it, uh, in, insects? How specific do you have to be? Don't ask too many questions, please. <laughs> yeah. It's do we get a list and we and we put them in order or we just like figure out 10 animals? Top 10. 
Just the mammals? Top 10 in any order, the top 10 deadliest animals to humans. What's an, by, don't what's ask too many questions. Yeah. And listen to animal. animal. Alan, I think okay. animal I, is I refuse to answer it's on the kingdom. basis that it may incriminate everyone. Yeah. If I have to answer the that. The question's pretty question. simple. Yep. But okay, I have an important question. We're talking worldwide. Yes. yes. Okay. And I think the animal question was about like, uh, you know, a bacteria or viruses or something like that, which is not an animal. All right, good luck. That's what I was thinking, because humans are animals. Yeah. Good one. We're good. deadly. Hello, team. This game. Hello. We're very deadly. You guys are in the lead. Okay, so humans, and, and that's what I think you said there, that makes sense. I was going to uh, bring up mosquitoes. Yes, good one. Are they animals? Ticks. They are. They're not vegetables or minerals, Susan. <laughs> ticks. Or fungus. Oh, what? ticks. That's another good one. But did they kill? They might cause illness, but. Yeah. Well, mosquitoes do tiny side of, of, of the fever, the. Uh, uh, Lyme the... disease, the Rocky Mountain spotted fever? Yes. But how many people die from that each year, though? Um, I don't the know. Question. Like, I would think. How about snakes? I would put snakes. There's, yeah. there, there's enough of them. That, well, I'm thinking like in other. Remember, it's deadly. So how many these are people that they're killing? Because in I the U.S. Think... it might be low, but I think it's higher in places like India. How about spiders? Spiders are interesting. What about things like bears or lions? Or yeah, I bears. I would there, there's spiders. so few of them, though. There's so few of them. Yeah, but that's think the about problem. There's a million people in India, and they have the and they have tigers. So it's how many people drop bears is the answer? I'm telling you, that, I, that might be twenty people a year. Sharks? Not that many. Uh, Sharks? No, I don't what think. About about volume again. How about dogs? I think dogs might be. Other dogs, dogs. Other kind of dogs. Hey, yeah, dogs. I can't believe I know any of this. Okay. But what about deer? Like how many people or moose? Because like how many people die in traffic? Car accidents. accidents. Moose. But moose. isn't this violent animals? Animals doing well, this is in the world, right? Deadliest. This is in the world. I don't like if you're driving, many. If you I don't just think just it's running it. into animals that that would count this. Yeah, if you, if you get into a car, if you die from a car accident from hitting a moose. But how many do you think there are a year? Well, there's a lot in Well, Sweden. deer, there's a lot. Deer. How many? Yeah, a lot. Deer are dead. <laughs> but uh, would you call that deadly? I mean, I'm not understanding yeah. the question then. because that, that would count to me as deadly, but I don't think it's tied have up you ever not seen, like, I think national, It's not National Geographic, but one of the channels used to do like world's deadliest animals. And they would talk about people's encounters with moose and like deer accidents and things like that. How about alligators or crocodiles? Mm. I don't Rarity know. again. Susan, you, I think you were on the right continent there. There's got to be something in Australia on this list. Drop bears. Dingoes. Sure. <laughs> what about dingoes? Those are hoop snakes. Hoop snakes are really deadly in Australia. Oh, I don't know about hoop snakes yet. Yeah, they just get around your neck like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> they go around like this. Oh, man on your neck. Um, and they strangle you. Um, I think deadliest animals. <laughs> how about the rabbits? You know how those are rabid rabbits. Hmm. <laughs> The killer nobody, rabbit. Nobody's searching for the holy girl. Kill rabbits, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah the killer rabbit. If I it's think... not a drop bear or a hoop snake, it is a killer rabbit. There's also the jackalope if we're going that route. Yeah, what about Bigfoot? Are... How many how many people does Bigfoot kill every Oh year? my lord. Bigfoot. Oh Bigfoot's a pacifist. It's dog man you gotta worry about. I don't think that's it's a serious Peggy. That's all because oh, Peggy's here. We're talking like this. <laughs> um what about pigs pigs i have heard of pigs eating people yeah this guy had a heart attack in the pig how about, pen 
And how about a bear? I mentioned bears. Yeah, no, I think it's too few. I don't, well, you have to like. Oh, I know. Bees. Bee stings. Bee stings? Bee stings. Bee stings. Hmm. That's interesting. I would also think like, worldwide, I bet there's a lot of people who die of bee, bee stings. And they're not I'm deadly at all. They have an overactive uh, immune response is the problem. Right. But the statistics, that's what's interesting about that answer. Because what big animal? Yeah. <laughs> like how, big animals, we've triumphed so everything. We, let's, let's, we, did we really put like mosquitoes? Is that on the list? It's got to be. Yeah. Malaria. I think like malaria. Oh, yeah. yeah. Malaria, yellow fever, West Nile yeah. virus. They're very deadly. Okay. How about bats? Whenever you talk about, if you're talking about, no, they're that not, wouldn't make sense. No, because they're, they're pretty harmless. They get a bad rip. Well, I was thinking that they, bat transmission to humans. So we we're going to label COVID-19 as bats and that's how they get on the list? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually what I was thinking, but it's too too recent. Build a case for but it. That hasn't been proven, the bat connection. I would no. think, so we've got humans, mosquitoes, bears, bats, I mean, bees, sorry. <laughs> what about just snakes overall? I like the snakes. snakes. Snake yeah. bites are bad worldwide, not in Ireland. I don't. Well, I think like the 21 out of the 25 most venomous snakes are in Australia. But I don't know if they. India has a lot too, with the various cobras. Right, but the most venomous in the world. Like I think Australia, Australia has a disproportionate amount. Like right, 20. but they they are so rarely encountered with people. Yeah. I think, um, but like you so can, they're just like out, but not necessarily. In and the, I think for snakes, you're bizarre. less likely to die from a snake bite, and you're gonna have neuro neuropathy and other complications. Except but. that we're talking worldwide, and most places can't have you know yeah. a lot of countries they don't have access to getting there quickly be, to a some place is going to be able to take them, give them the antidote or whatever. So I'm going uh, off on a, on a tangent, but going, getting back to pigs, what about uh, if we're going small animals, the things that pigs carry that can infect humans? How many people die in like worms or whatever is in them? I'm not sure. Mm. That's well, not the hookworm. hookworm was a big deal, but I don't think it'd be on the I list. I think they're deadly. What, pigs, what about, are, pigs are fed good food today and we know how to cook the meat to pre yeah. prevent trichinosis is what it used to be called okay how and about I, a cow or a bull considering there's so many of them yeah but well how often do you encounter bulls they're usually what about, amoeba? what about what? like brain eating amoeba what faith a brain amoeba, eating amoeba. huh or like, oh, are she turning I, pathogens too? I have a feeling we're overthinking this. Okay. okay. That's what I think. But I would say tigers too. No. Lions, tigers, and bears. I think bears would be for tigers. But we have 10. And we've got, I've got like five slots left over. I would think like tigers, lions, um hippopotamus as well oh hippos are supposed to be hippopotamus before lions for sure yeah hippos are supposed <laughs> to be really dangerous <laughs> but hippos i don't think statistically that they kill a lot of humans they might if you're a zebra lions will be top on the list of things that kill yeah. you and it's like humans i think it's lower but yeah. how often I think gonna, hippos, is a human gonna hippos, run into a lion i think you're more likely to run into a hippo than you are um from what i've seen because most people think they're docile creatures and they don't realize. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty fast. deadly and they can be fast when they're in the water. Yeah. I would think about horses. Horse what about tiger. horses? So people what are we own, kicked from horses? They certainly interact with humans more often. Yeah. I would say. So what good. do we have so far uh, that makes sense? I have human mosquitoes, bears, bees, snakes, hippos, and horses. What about ticks? Hippos. But that's the thing. I don't know how many people well, die from like mm -hmm. Lyme or Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain spotted fever or other illnesses that they bring. 
they're more likely to cause chronic illness than they are to cause death. How many do you have on your list, Faith? Seven. Okay. Do we have dogs on there? Mosquitoes, mosquitoes. We, we can put dogs on there. Dogs, I think, well, is really highly. Are... What oh. about deer? Great on sharks. That's the thing. I don't think sh sharks don't generally kill people. Like here on the coast. Like how many? Where Where are you, Jay? Like on the coast? Are you on the coast? She's over here by me in Monterey. Yeah. Like on the. I think that we have no more than maybe like we have maybe a couple sharks attacks a year and none of them are really deadly so most of the i don't think it's i think it's just one of those things that's in the paper like you're more likely going to die from being in a car like a car accident or, or a plane crash than i think or being struck by lightning than you will be if you're being eaten by a shark it's one of those things that they generally will leave you alone you know, I think like can we put horses deer, on there? I did have horses on here, and I think we should put deer on here too. Or moose. I, would I think moose are really, really, really dangerous in moose. and and those areas. Yeah, because those you I think it's you're more likely gonna encounter because they tell you to back off when you see them. They said that moose cre um cause most moose ac really car accidents and um Sweden. But they're only they only exist in certain parts of the world. And it's like oh yeah, statistically wise. Yeah, we're talking about the whole earth. We're talking North America, then I, I could I could see that as a point. Mm -hmm. I would put crocodiles and alligators if we can match to put them together above okay. deer and moose. Well, we don't have to get them in order. No. Have them. So Okay. But so I have a similar list to what you had. I had mosquitoes, dogs, snakes, humans, and then we had bees, hippos, horses, and bears. Yeah. And I've got moose, deer, and crocodile and alligator on the same line. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're so related. Well, they sort of are. Well, if we say crocodilians, that would include both crocodiles and alligators. Crocodilians. <laughs> um not elephants right no because like you're they sit on you of, yeah they'll sit i, I mean they're more yeah. they're not going to attack you and it, you're not going to encounter them like i think the odds of you preserves and stuff that you, yeah. you it takes work to get near them i think i was being of awful quiet over there he's doing this statistics on although something. they have more in india but still are you doing no, a data analysis of it i wish i wish no i don't have any insight but i would really. think like encountering encountering some animal like a deer or moose or antelope or something like that in areas where there's more development you're going to see people getting in accidents and colliding with these animals and it's more likely that you're going to probably die from an accident of hitting an animal at a high range speed. I know that there are a lot of people yeah. that hit deer. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that it's very deadly. Um, how about... Mm, well, we've got 10. Oh, we do? Yeah. I'm still on the fence about snakes, though. Snakes? But I would I put high up there. on the list. Because I think I think even in developing parts of the world that it takes you don't die from these things unless you're right. Big. There, there are a lot of snakes. If you don't have the anti venom, mm -hmm. you're you're gonna die. Right. And it's really it's really I I've been watching videos on the people that collect venom for use in creating anti venom, and they always make and like. When people own snakes, if they're going to get a venomous one, they get one that's local to their area because mm -hmm. there's a bigger chance it'll be an anti venom at the local hospital. If you get some more exotic snakes, or like the guy we had, die. we had a guy here who kept king cobras, and you're not allowed to keep venomous snakes at all in this state as pets. And he had it in his vehicle. I guess he, the snake bit him at home. He got in his car to drive to the hospital. And Luckily, the university he went to actually had some antivenom in stock <laughs> to treat this. And then, why don't they keep the antivenom in the refrigerator? 
Well, it, it's really, really expensive. It's not. Well, you know, we know the stupid venomous well, thing. We have the antidote here. So, stupid. like, within, well, within a hundred mile radius from where we are, we've got three major universities, three or four major universities that have teaching hospitals. And one of them is UNC Chapel Hill, which they keep, they have a huge, I think, anti venom. So, nation. think about places where the cobra is native yeah. to, how poor it is, and how. Well, I don't like to say how poor, it's just think about the amount of people, the amount of access they have to care. The <gasps> I know, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah. Scorpions. Huh? Okay. Uh, well, don't they kill you, scorpions? Scorpions? I don't think scorpions. I, think so. I would so think scorpions more than bees, actually. But how much, how likely? Or frequency. So, but frequently, I think bees kill more than are really. I mean, bad. I'm gonna the majority of like bees are all around on all the various continents. We had that quiz, the category last week, was it or the week before? Yep. Where they're everywhere, yeah. like even in the Arctic, and we ain't got no scorpions over here. <laughs> I've never seen, yeah, one I've never heard of a scorpion outside either. of a museum or zoo. Yeah, I think they're deadly. I don't know. And I, it's hard to say. I think a lot of these are probably going to be like tied for 11 or 12 mm -hmm. in real life. Well, technically only here. two of them can be, right? Mm -hmm. Technically. We are the world's most deadliest animal. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Kyle, time. hush. <laughs> Kyle, you should have come up to our house this weekend. Did you yeah. have time in, in down, in, down at home? We did, yeah. We had family come down instead of going up. Still nice though. The traffic was bad, from what I understand. I'll bet I didn't have to do it, so that worked out for me. The traffic actually was okay. There was just that one accident where, like, a truck was like somehow got on the middle of the median and the five, and so it slowed track of traffic in both directions because of looky loos. But then it was. Oh, you, that's what but you were coming about. really late at night, though, um, huh, Brian? When that accident happened, you called would have been reasonable and come up at a reasonable time. You call people that look at accidents looky loose. Yeah, we what call them call? rubberneckers. But we call them that too. But looky loose as well. <laughs> Quit rubbernecking. Yeah, I honk at rubberneckers because I, you know, I don't have to look. I know there's something bad, and if yes. you slow down, I'm gonna honk at you mm. to wake you up. Well, You're I'm probably okay honk. with whatever honk tag, people here. But I definitely want snakes on the final list. Snakes are on the list. I have humans, mosquitoes, bears, bees, snakes, hippos, horses, dogs, moose slash deers, and crocodilians. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're going to with that them. moose slash deer? Mooster. We're going to call them moosters. <laughs> oh, wait, should rats no, be what on is, the what list? Is, what is the I was thinking of rats, but I'm, I'm not sure they're deadly no. in themselves. I mean, they yeah, not anymore. And stuff. The yeah. plague is over, yeah. Well, the, but there wasn't the rats that carried the plague. It was the fleas. It was the fleas. So should we say fleas? True. Well, bubonic mm. plague is like, there's oh, only 100 oh. cases of it like every decade and it's treatable with antibiotics. Which thing? Bubonic plague. So plague. Um, that's not going to count as a, an fleas. animal, but we'd have to think of the animal that carries it and that's fleas. Or was she clarifying it was all time or just no. time? She said recent. Re okay. Yeah, so I assume currently, but please. antivirus is from rodents, right? And that, but that's, I think that's pretty much, it's much lower now. It was deadly, more deadly a few years ago. I don't know. Um, and I think moose are, Moose and deer are in the same group. I think moose is a. a is it the, so if you say deer, it'll include. It'll is include it moose and deer uh, a line from Bullwinkle and Rock? No, like moose and squirrel. Moose and squirrel. squirrel. Moose squirrel. And, squirrel. <laughs> and squirrels are not problematic. <laughs> well, actually, squirrels are problematic. So we got our okay. last. <laughs> no, no squirrels. 
Yeah, they stop in the middle of the road when they see. But your anyway, moose. I think if you say deer, it'll include moose. If you still have that. How about birds, blackbirds that attack people who are inside no, the house. No, that's no, only in the movies. They own, yeah, they, they only come in and they the, swoop in. But they only and they come to the chimney and they, they attack only, you and jump and grab you around the neck. They, they only, only the attack you if you have shiny things because they want your shiny thing. And you can make friends with them if you give them shiny objects. Well, you tried that. You can be goth, Snow White. Like, look at my toes. I gave him shiny things. <laughs> I still I'm think it's hoop snakes. Gothic Snow White. Hoop snakes. Hoop snakes are no. not real. Charge this list. In, I, they're in Australia. You you keep your hoop snakes. <laughs> we didn't finish. Can we have a couple more minutes? Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Oh, okay. I, I sent I sent out a two minute warning. warning. Two minute warning. I sent out a yeah. two minute warning, and I went way over the two minute warning. Yes, it's so, twenty after twelve. Because it's you only have to talk yourself out of it. Ten or twelve or wherever. One, you want. it's one twenty here. One twenty. If Susan wants to give you more time, it's up to I her. Gave you guys more time last time. We're good. Yeah. All right. All righty, Rue. That was a really interesting discussion we had, as you will find out when you listen to the recording, at least in our room. Actually, yeah. can I say that for whoever was uh, in Kelly in our group, if you have more than 11, we give you the permission to eliminate one and bring it down to 10. Yeah. Anybody else have an announcement they want to make? I think, it's I think we do the snakes. same thing. It's hoop snakes and drop bears. <laughs> yeah. And and, and, and uh, Sasquatches Jack are really well, we already talked about big just, just re missing four one one, right, Kyle? Yeah. I mean, you know, I know the Sasquatches are at least partly responsible big, for all those people disappearing in the national park. He just Don't forget has about El Chupacabra and yeah. being gored by jackalopes. Yes. Yeah, jackalopes. I, yeah, jackalopes I brought up jackalopes in our group, but they shot it down. <laughs> yes, jackalopes. I don't think there's been too many kills. No, the, yeah. the, the, it's under it's under ten a year, I think. Yeah. And are extraterrestrials animals? I don't know. Can I tell you? Know, they're they're not abduct they're people. Not they're they're probably not, not in animal back. kingdom. Uh, oh, does human kind of animal? Thinking that. Human? Okay, so oh. I, I have to admit that there's a lot of lists on the internet, and I was specific about where I got it. There's a couple of lists on the Wikipedia thing. I did look at other lists. All the lists are pretty similar, but not exactly the same. Wh which list did you use? I And I'll show you in a minute. It, it was two lists from Wikipedia that are the same. Okay, number one, the, the most lethal animal is a mosquito for Yay. obvious reasons. Number two, second most lethal animal is you and me, the humans. Scared uh, for destructive Yay. humanity. <laughs> number three, snakes. Yay! Number the ones four. On planes. I have to tell you, number four was a surprise to me, but I think every group got four. It's dogs. Yeah, of course. It's your dog, Peggy. It's yeah. your dog. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me three legged, three -legged dog. dogs. Who dogs? dogs are really dangerous. Yeah. Those three legged dogs are really dangerous. Right? <laughs> Watch out. Three legged three -legged dog. Dog. I think Name is tripod. Least, I think at least one group got five, which is Titsy Fly. Oh, yeah. oh. somebody said fly. Oh. Hey, Carl. I said Titsy Fly. Didn't even think of so it. So, number six is the assassin bug, also known as the kissing bug. Never heard of it. Never heard of oh, yeah. I yeah. forgot about oh, James spiders. James knows all about either. the kissing bugs. So. We had that in Panama. Chagas disease. Yeah, most Chagas. of these are because they carry something that will kill you, not because they're going to rip your throat out or anything. And that is like the Chagas. snakes. Well, Number snakes seven, are... I didn't hear anybody talk about seven. This is freshwater snails. Oh, wow. what? That's what was sitting in the back of my head. Snails in joke, you instantly yeah. dropped off of our bird. Yeah. Snails in the back of your head. What do they do? <laughs> they, 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 they creep up on you very slowly. <laughs> they suck the life out of your fat. You want every one except Peggy. Is that the one that uh, creates a disease, Schistomiosis? Yes. They sit on Buddha's head. Number eight. snails, but. The I muted everybody. Peggy, you'll have to unmute yourself because I couldn't hear you. Peggy, you'll have to unmute. I just was not on the screen, so I couldn't unmute myself. Okay, um, going back to the list. <laughs> but number, snails carry worms. That was how we- They carry ugly things. Look it up. 
Um, but the so organism that kills you is a worm. The snail only carries it. Well, that's true of mosquitoes and dogs and tsetse flies and assassin bugs. You know, the difference there is those are virus or bacteria as opposed to a worm as an animal. She's going right. to what's on the Wikipedia page, which is what the answer is. Right, Karen? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Karen somebody thinks somebody the answers has to go are and fine. fix the Wikipedia page. So <laughs> number eight is scorpions. And I know some of you got that. Uh, I told you, did it make our list? Did it make our list? Well, maybe I, I was trying to get scorpions list. on our list. I don't know if it made it or not. Number nine, and we will accept just roundworm. Number nine is Ascaris roundworm. And I know some of you were talking about roundworms. And, and number 10 is the tape. Hook number, worms. Number 10 is the tapeworm. Is the what? 10 what? Tapeworm. That's what? Number 10? Yeah. I'm going to try to share a screen here. Boy, we did awful. Awful. Tape so that there are different lists out there. And a lot of you were talking crocodiles. Crocodiles are at least number 11. And on some lists overtake. Uh, and, and I don't know why. Can you guys see this? Yep. Mm -hmm. So this is the list snipped from the, from the Wikipedia. Wikipedia. So you see the CNET and the Business Insider, and then BBC News goes off on this hippopotamus rant, which has nothing to do with the rest of the list. But um, the numbers aren't all the same, like mosquitoes is a million here and 750 there. Well, what's 250,000 people, whatever. But um, he, but they're, they rank the same pretty much on all the animals and what causes death. I'm surprised mosquitoes is bigger than humans. Can you paste think, that into the chat too, please, Peggy? Oh, I think I can. From that, from that document, or the or the link, or just the URL. Yeah. Will, will you? This is a no bats and no rats. No bats, no rats. No rats. Here we go. I found the link. Oh, trains and how about trains and boats and planes? Will you accept just worms for a point? Well, no, we did originally say nematodes on that, so I'm feeling okay about that. I would say roundworms or tapeworms. Well, they're two I, different categories. I don't think nematodes are roundworms. Are they? Yeah. Good evening. She would know. I, yeah. I would take a ra any any roundworm, and if a scientist tells me that a roundworm is a nematode, um, I wouldn't take like an earthworm. <laughs> no, those are annelids. Yeah, they're not roundworm. There you go. They're not going to sneak up into our digestive system and kill us. <laughs> Um, and, and, you know, it's not super scientific, but it's so interesting. I think one of the most interesting things about this list is how not first world it is, other than the humans and the dogs. Well, the dogs, a lot of it is rabies and stuff. Oh, there's dollars. Is that upsetting you that dogs are on there, Peggy? Wanted, dead or alive. Uh, mm -hmm. I was, I was a little shocked. And all of the groups talked about dogs as though, of course, they're killers. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And, and notice not one feline anywhere to be seen. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, but they um, would the be cat. good. Peggy, I just read. No, a book. I mean, lions and tigers and pumas, they could, and they're not even on the list. Listen, Peggy, I was just reading a book about vaccines, and they were talking about how bad rabies was until they had the rabies vaccine, yeah. and it still is really, really bad. And it's mainly from dogs killing people in um, third world countries. Right, because They're, they don't have access to a vaccine and the dogs right. don't get vaccinated. And so rabies and, is really yeah. bad and there's wild dogs and they go in packs and they kill children. And yeah, it's very bad. But yeah. I don't know if it's really, really current, but I know. No, no, I think what they do is there's so many domesticated dogs and what they do is they're very smart. They slowly poison their owners and take over the residence and the credit cards and the cable <laughs> pay per view. It's dog the kill. Less soon, uh, the dog about that. They what was on the right of the list? About how hippopotamus. Uh, Can I Kelly? Is that part of the list? Hi, Kelly. Um, on the look. right, there was uh, there was some two other animals on the right. But that was that was not one of the lists I was using because it's just so wrong. Hippopotamus <laughs> is five hundred. Uh huh. So there's oh, a big range, nevertheless. Of I saw a thousand all the people, all the animals on the list. I mean, from right. 750,000 to 500,000. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's like orders of magnitude different. Yeah. 
He's trying to work his way into your house. There's a huge but... range for sure. Yeah. Okay, let's get our scores. Let's get laid yeah, over there. Scores. All right. So I'm going to go with we expect to be reinstated by first to first mm -hmm. place by August. I have seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to next ask Mafia Cats. <laughs> I think we had four. Yeah, All that right. seems about. I no, don't know are... what our final. I don't know what our final list was, but I have it at four. Okay. Okay. Uh, the headless birds from Gail's yard. I, I'm counting three. Does anybody think different? I agree three. I'm just wondering what Leonard's thinking as he's hearing these names. <laughs> I love them. They're great. The headless birds from Gail's yard. Yeah. That's okay. that's fantastic. I have no idea what the hell it's about. That's, <laughs> that's what. Sounds. That's the story she told cats. today. A new yeah. criminal gang has moved in and started decapitating birds. Yeah. Okay. And I really like the reinstated. <laughs> Chicken shit. Oh, four. One. We got four. <laughs> Sorry, team. Classic curse. And the elementary quantum of corn. Seven. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, you had two sevens, a three, and two fours. That's amazing. Yeah. We were all over the place tonight. Yeah, that was that was really a good one to end with, Peggy, because it really put things sideways. It changed it, didn't it? You thank did. you, Peggy. Yeah, it was really Sorry. good. So we're, we're um, delighted to help. Yeah, thank you, Peggy. It looks like we. <laughs> to be reinstated by August really came back from beyond because of that last category. Oh, we're still in last place. <laughs> Mafia Cats managed to fight their way out of last place. Yay. We're still in, we're still in no last cat. place, but we're not in last place by more than 10 points anymore. No, no. <laughs> I'll Jim, take it. Kyle, Paula, Good Peg, job, team. Headless birds, second place. Ty, not bad. And we were in second place, but we expect to be in first place by August. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a matter. <laughs> Very good. So next week is the one year anniversary Woo! of starting this group. So that should be fun. So it might be fun if we all bring um, some some Gatorade. sinful cake or something. Gatorade uh, to pour over your head? No. <laughs> Ice? Ice. No. But that would be kind of fun. So anyway, um, that's what's going to happen next we'll have strawberries. I'm going to try to remember how to write categories. Oh, those strawberries <laughs> were so good. Oh, for I, brought, I, mean, oh. I got one, I got two more flats today. Oh. All right. So I'm going to end this. Um, and the recording, don't forget, there is, I am putting these up on video if you guys want to see them, especially people who did the categories in the past. Ah, here before we go. Thank you, Peggy. Good category. Very good. The um, the week after this, which would be the, the June 17th, I have Peggy, Rob, and Karen doing bonus. So it'd be oh, nice if bonus? we had some new people. Mm -hmm. I'm doing bonus? Okay. So um, I'll make that announcement again next week. And... I could do another one. Okay. You can pencil me in, and if somebody else wants to do it, you can push me back a week. Okay, that could possibly I feel the same happen. way if you want me to do one. You've got I'm, I'm happy to do one anytime. Just let me know. I got one in the bank still. Robin, have you done much lately? I don't think you've done many. I haven't done one lately. Do you want me to do one next week? I'll have you do it not next week, but the week after because you haven't done one in a long time. Okay. Who else has it? Okay, so Gil, Kevin, and who was the other person who just said they had something? I think Wilma was saying she wanted to do one. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard her volunteer. She's been so evil. I don't even know. I don't even know you, Wilma. But <laughs> and Susan, I'm open to a bonus or a category, whatever you need. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm still taking notes. I have you on bonus, so I don't know if Got I. It. Okay. I, I have a round whenever you want to slot me in around other okay. people who want op opportunities. Carl. Can Carl take my spot? No. <laughs> Thank you, Carl. Okay, so I'm getting there. So I'll fill you guys in. Off the hook. Robin in next on the, the June 17th because it has been a while since I've heard from Robin. <sighs> so, but we can play around with this. But it's okay if you don't want to do a category. I know sometimes- With Lighthouse is round two. Mm -hmm. oh Lighthouse is round two. <laughs> and, you know. and Punch and Judy. Punch, Punch and Judy, Judy round two. Being performed in Lighthouses. I, I need to work up the courage to do a round, but my fear is since I was- a
a late joiner that I, I don't know the history of all the previous categories that have no, come but they're all board. on Facebook. They're all on Facebook. There's a list of all the things. Oh, no, that's I, true. I can look through. You can them always all, yeah. ask someone too. You can always ask. Yeah, because yeah, that's the somebody. problem. If I ask, then it gives away what category. And, and your questions, but you your ask questions Susan. might be new. Ben, you might have new questions too. Uh, you know, I'm not on Facebook, and I don't look at. It. I haven't seen the past categories. I just make up some categories that right. interest me, and I go ben, with it. Right? If I'm gonna, really I want to have a round all about children of the corn. Yeah, that's <laughs> not good. Ben, um, what ha what has happened in the past is I have my other son Sterling has access to the to the spreadsheet, and I would just put you in contact with him, and he would just and you'd say I want to do a category on whatever, and he'll right. look through and say it's already been done or not been done, and you can even run the questions by him if it is a category you want to do. We did that once before, and it worked out well. So and, and don't ben, worry even, about it. Even if it's the same questions, most of us won't remember anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, we'll say we exactly. had this question before. I don't remember the answer. Right. I think that's what I think that's what Susan's gonna do you next do week. A, it's gonna be a recap. A category, yeah, go back and pick, pick back qu questions, see if people remember. If it you, might if happen. They were there, they, I wasn't there. And Susan just, might just do something evil like that. Ooh. One yeah, anniversary game, all repeat people. categories of exactly the same question. No, one tough question from every tough category. That would be evil too. Mm -hmm. Ted, the repeat Ted categories of all the things that people got wrong last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would oh, be Oh, yeah. Horrible. Everything that awful. nobody got right. Just, just redo the RogerDeaver.com round. <laughs> so we have a chance. Redemption. Another chance for victory. There you go. And on that, I'm going to end it. You guys have a wonderful night. Night, night. Bye, everyone. Thank you, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.